Okay, how's everyone doing? Good to see all of you. I haven't spoken yet today, so you get my, uh, you get my sleepy voice. All sorts of fucked up. Hi. <laughs> Mr. David Bowling. Coffee. Trade. Toad. E.T. Galaxy Goo. Bro, you never corrected me. Is is it trolley? Is it troll it? Correct me. I, I like getting people's names right, especially the people who are here often. Jail. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. It'll never not be funny. That game. <laughs> um, I just want you guys to know that I burned myself three times in this coffee so far and no lessons were learned. It's called the troll. Okay, troll. Refreshing hearing anyone genuinely say correct me. I mean, it's you know people pick out their their names and they probably prefer to be referred to by their names. So I I want to do that. It's like a respect thing, I guess. Instead of no, I'm right. You imagine. As always. Okay, so we, we started j just a bit of, of the Warlock run. Um, we're doing Lazel Origin, we, we hit level 4, we did, we did a bunch of the early stuff. Uh, you can hit level 4 inside of like an hour with practice. So Obviously we didn't do it in an hour because I have no attention span, but you can. Hey, homie Data, how you doing? Um... Let's see. Okay, yeah, Carlock had an accident. Uh, it's Arcane Tower time. It's fine for now. Objective noted. Is that my name? Mr. David Bowling. Did, did I get that right? I don't know the feather follow ups there. Awkward. How long did you stream yesterday? Uh, like eight and a half hours. Something like that. Me not having feather fall here is cringe. I'll make it work. Okay, just shoot me anyway. Break my concentration too, that's awesome. Don't you love when the game actively cheats? I love that. Guess not. Uh, it's still day one. That was that was day zero. This, this is still day one. What's that? If Featherfall is not actually needed to do the strat safely. It's just a buffer. Like, I will lose my temp HP in this one. Something over there. That's fine. We're fiend lock. I'll get a kill and, and get some amount of temp HP back. But we probably rest right after we uh, pick. we do a Melon's mission. That one's always labeled final day due to lack of self-control. Listen. Yes. Not my fault. Something over there. Love getting cheated by the game. That was insane trade. I'm now scared of that fight. Like, I had never seen that trigger without being in combat, but... I also never attacked the group from there. I just attacked from the Moonrise entrance. Blink again? I've been getting Blink so much for the third level spells. Scrolls. It's annoying. I like 
different. Oh, that's sad. Been that several times since the first time that happened. Uh, yeah, I uh, that was that was pretty that was pretty crazy. Just the casual get one shot by Karnas doing a strat you've done before without you even being in combat. You know, that's... Thanks, game. Definitely helps the anxiety levels. Morning, Urban Mech. Big to choke in, I don't know that one. Where's the music? I would love music. Especially because Arcane Power track is one of my favorites. Game. I don't know why post-patch 6 music just likes to not. Consider me intrigued. Back to the Nautilid, I guess. At the helm. The helm we are needed. Choke. Such tedium. No blades, no battle cries. fault more NPCs need to be tossed into a chasm again. Yeah, it's not on you. Hey, this time maybe uh, maybe you'll get better RNG with the, the world's least talented Harpers. On my run, I had to like throw potions at them and leave potions on the ground for them to attack with their bonus action. Goes the pew pew and we're just getting started. We haven't uh, pewed any pews yet, although the game already cheated once today, so maybe I should take that as a sign. Day zero was, was yesterday. I have self-control. I have a good staff to bonk these with right now. I don't. Let's go back. There's music. Two hammers from here I can use on the Withers dungeon, which, yes, I still haven't been to. Day one in a few hours. Yeah, Greater Spirit. Might change it up. Four elements. Carlac Car sounds like fun with soul coins. Yes, let's do it. That sounds cool. Much bigger is the radius for attacking a potion versus just throwing it is really that much bigger? No. Not bigger at all. The reason why you might want to attack a potion is because it you can blow it up with different things. Like you could send, say, one magic missile of your group of magic missiles at a potion at your feet. You can do an offhand crossbow shot or an offhand weapon stab instead of using throw, which is a main action. Um, now, you could always drink a potion with, with a bonus action, so the, the, the offhand weapon stab isn't super relevant unless you're having someone drink it who you can't control, who you know has the AI to mess with potions on the ground. Um, the Grimforged Wergar will throw potions that are left on the ground. Um, the Harpers in the Shadow Curse Lens will attack potions that are on the ground, possibly throw them as well.
Blacksmith told me I needed to sharpen the tip of my sword, but I didn't see the point. <laughs> a locksmith breaks into someone's house. The homeowner says, who are you and how'd you get into my house? A locksmith replies saying, I'm a locksmith and I'm a locksmith. I love those anti-jokes. You can't wake up early. I enjoy them. Ooh, another mirror image. Something like that. The meaning, however, is garbled, as if they are codes needing to be deciphered. Lazel still needs to use the cipher here. It's a so... heretical tale. Your Vash taught that all. And if so. Okay, Lazel gets more of an inner monologue about the whole black, I think. What's the Did difference with her versus other gifts? Somehow miss the the chest in the van. Hang on. Magic nearby. Audio warning. Thank you for the five gifted. Incredibly generous as always. I'm running out of ways to sing your praises, but seriously, every, every time this helps so much. Thank you. Oh, magic dog. Elabracadabra. I think I've heard that one. It sounds familiar. Maybe I haven't heard that one. She's just a girl and she's on fire. Eagle quack. Sheets, potion, rubber hill giant club. It is no silver sword, but that chair leg may be a useful weapon. Squag and he's on choir. Hot uh, choir? Huh? Huh? Like, like singing? Alright, calm down, table. The joke wasn't that funny. Remove curse scroll isn't bad to get in there, I guess. Another shatter scroll's okay. Red of Enchanted Club is part of stool, such a D&D isn't. Yeah, it's a stool of hill giant strength. So to, to get the effect, you just, you, you take a stool sample. That's what that means, right? I beat you to the joke, Jester. Ha <laughs> ha. How you doing?
Arcane Tower, mostly sorted. Is Staff of Arcane Blessing? No, I can just use Whispering Promise. I didn't go get Coralin's Grace. I don't have any temp HP sources right now. Do I have a False Life Scroll? Any chance? No. Oh. Hmm. I think with 32 HP, I should be fine. Even if I fail. Well, we'll, we'll see. It's curious to find a gift Yankee here. Truly remarkable. Are you looking to have open your mind? As if. But the lava, and even without, but not to the, the design. But oh. there may be a way to find. Uh, but Timusks cause confusion. Your sanity, however much. These. Oh, my you must drink the entire. It will lower the psionic. Acidically. Not as the potion. The world loses its edges, its finer boundaries. You are fluid, but trapped like a dark hole. The tadpoles of fear pierces your mind like knives of ice. The parasite digs deeper, as if it means to hollow out your skull. A wave of the parasites. The parasite. Oh, no. That lava is like such an outcome was not. It, I would offer it as a gift, but in truth, the ring is priceless. That may, of course. Okay, yeah, I took 11 damage. I got poison for not failing, for not succeeding in the constitution check, and then I got um, dazed and took 11 damage. But at such an mm, failing the rate. first check. That's fine. Mm. Well, like, like O'Mellon will tell you if you pass that insight check. As long as you're not close to death already, it can't kill you. But if you were to do this on, say, a level 1 character with no HP boosts, it can just outright kill you. Spell slots? I don't quite remember. I don't... I can't imagine it would. Hmm. Get all the way to the Underdark at level 1. Um, you can talk your way into the Blighted Village with no combat. Or checks, depending on what you do. Uh, you can talk your way into the goblin camp. Same way. You can talk your way into Priestess Gut, go into her room. And then if you you drink the sleep potion and are a race that is not immune to magical sleep, and then you choose not to break out of your chains, uh, Corilla will come show up. One of Raphael's warlocks will come show up and, and kill everyone who would have been there. So then you can just walk into the Underdark. The Minotaur there, you can kill safely. Um, and then you can jump past the Boulette trigger to get to the Myconid colony. Then you can go through the lake where the Dwergar are. If you got branded by Gut, then you can get past them with no checks. And you can get to the Arcane Tower. Um, 
as long as you've managed the turrets properly, you don't have to worry about taking damage or anything. As long as you read the correct books and choose the correct options in the tower, you can get through Bernard without any checks or dialogue. Or checks or combat, excuse me. You can do all everything I've done so far on stream today easily at level one. Just remember, fellow adventurers, if your opponent ever starts crying because they feel sorry for what they're about to do to you, run. <laughs> yeah, that's a red flag. May your... I greet you, child of the stars. Expensive, but... May From other Welcome back. Easily? Yeah, easily. Have you... I do enjoy it's just a matter of knowing if anything in my where to go. Collection is to your liking. Like, there's no RNG to it, there's no checks, there's no combat, it's just memorization. The Baneful functionally works as a plus two weapon. If you have a Warlock or an Eldritch Knight, bind it. Kind of interesting. It's still a short sword, though. And short sword competition gets pretty steep. I think there's even one that's comparable here that I should grab. Very Imagine getting that bar and dying to a potion. Pretty funny. Step 1, how to open your menu. Step 2, how to certify it. Step 3, how to solve the final boss. No damage taken under a minute. Well, that's a logical straight line. Yeah, I didn't pass the perception check there. Well. Gareth understood the assignment this time. Could get Balin now for the XP and the gloves. I don't need to do that. Got that Cloud of Dagger scroll, right? Where do I leave Shovel? Somewhere she won't be useful. Buying items when there's so many left around laying on dead bodies. But, but I want more items. Why settle for some items when I could have all of the items? Repositioning. Okay, Elegus is still looking here. I won't be able to loot Aridin until after they bury him and I dig up his corpse later. I think it'll disappear after this rest.
Okay, I was hungry again. Am I throwing at an angle where they're bouncing off the rock? I think I am. Make sense, so where's our dedicated meow button? <laughs> um, that's actually in the game. If you wild shape into cat form, you can meow at will, it attracts the attention of everything near you. Also, there's this spell, Minor Illusion, which creates an illusionary cat that meows and attracts nearby people. So it's kind of in the game. Should be luminous armor. Oh. Did I forget the luminous armor chest. I don't want to make paste right now, Withers. Buy me dinner first. doing this song and dance with chests is still more efficient despite the fact that it looks like a pain in the ass and sometimes is uh, because it means I don't ever have to make any checks to disarm traps on chests it means I don't ever have to um spend thieves tools that I will need for a few specific doors mostly in act two hey hit a tree scary if that fell out of bounds, like this armor. Luminous armor is great early even if you don't have a source of radiant damage, which outside of clerics, you, you, you kind of just don't. Um, because it's the same AC as Githyanki half plate without the disadvantage on stealth checks, so good for surprise runs.
Okay, let's go get music proficiency from Alphira now. Add it with the vengeance noises. Doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. You made that up. Let's go to let's go to Saza first. Lives or dies. Oh, you teeth are all. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the gl The absolute is gold from the. Could probably stick your head back. Get me out of here. Yeah, we agreed to save Saza. Not actually going to. And your birdies and your dogs. strategy into the shadows undetected amazing miss See me, huh? I was just making sad noises because it's the Paladin in Baldur's Gate 3. I was talking about early access to Radiant Damage and I brought up Cleric and not Paladin. Because it's... Can't sustain it. Remember, smites are just Sacred Flame. Riding on a weapon. And when you're losing in value to Sacred Flame... Hmm. <laughs> You know? Music Sorry. There was so much blood and I've not something I use often, but it will happen. There's a few places where um luring individual enemies with it is more advantageous than using minor illusion. And there's also of course points in time where I may not necessarily have minor illusion. Within. Smile and pain will fade away. Mine will cause to end when you pull. Please don't log what timeline is this. Please the warlock interesting. How you doing, Pogler? How you doing, Buster? Yeah, GIF have um features that 
lend themselves well to Warlock. Astral Knowledge is good for uh, getting proficiencies that you might have otherwise missed out on. And Gith get uh, medium armor proficiency. I'm thinking Will will be the sorcerer run. Something over there. Because at least I'll get shield proficiency. Will's like the least desirable version of playing a human. That, that sounds bad, but no, let me cook. Because you could also do Av with a better inspiration route. You could do Gale with the better origin features. Or you could do Dirge, because Dirge. Well, where the fuck are you? Alas, time for chatter. Well, you saved Arabella. And we're happy to... I want to steal anything else. Darkness Scroll and Darkness Arrow by the arrow. Anything else? You've been a friend. They never see us coming. We dirge Paladin just break that oath real early. I don't want to break my oath until at least I've moved on to the mountain pass. Uh, because having the Oathbreaker Knight in camp complicates a bunch of things. I think he responds, like, if you start beating up Raphael, I think he, like, attacks you. Um, so, uh, things like that, I don't want him around for. Also, when you have your oath broken, you cannot respec. I guess. Hey, Viper. So, breaking your oath is something to be avoided, because it's incredibly expensive and makes the game just more awkward in a not fun way. Found and taken. Really annoying. Yep. And to my knowledge, there's no cap. For real, for real. Hashtag boss. Um. On how expensive. Keep moving, stranger. I told you to go. How expensive? Um. Getting your oath back can. So it'll just keep doubling. What are you doing? Get back. Sure, game. Sure. These worlds crawl with monsters. Stay back. You see a name etched into you still. You should go. My f of course he will. And then we'll... No. I won't leave him. If... Game didn't want me to have Scratch. This is what makes it morally acceptable to bully the game. I'm gonna kill Raphael. Maul loses her patron. She's still a warlock afterwards. Uh, you're still able to get her as an endgame ally. 
Um, if you pass a, a deception check, I believe it is. So, narratively, I don't think she would be, but gameplay-wise, at least for a bit, yeah. I think there's one bush I didn't. Funny that at least Cleric and Warlock should have consequences for doing certain actions, only Paladin gets punished. Warlock's packed, because I imagine or anything story related, I think Warlocks are fine. I mean, look at Will's storyline, though. If Will refuses any of his orders, he he gets sent right to the blood war. You feel we do see an, an example of that. It's just before you see it. no other warlock act is given that level of uh, focus in the story. The darkness. What's the... It's a splinter. Well, I've got a bigger threat than you with worse. Actually doing Albert? No. You're small. You can go. It's 40 XP for an annoying fight that RNG can just decide to send you back to the Nautilus. No. Things there's not a single Gith among True Souls. Kind of surprised. I mean, Gith don't live in this plane, in this like reality, in this world so in every other dialogue line with the githyanki talking to a non-gith in this game is wow a gith why are you here well it doesn't surprise me the cult wouldn't get any gith also given Lazel and orpheus both have multiple scenarios where it's like well i'm infected i should die now we can see what happens if one would be infected. Thor can banish me to the hells anyway. <laughs> to that. condition is worsening again. I need to consume some powerful magic or it may become volatile. Somehow the second artifact Thank you. So, why am I frozen in doubt? Why should this time be any different? My... Hmm. Well... Oh yeah, I don't have to worry about Lazel trying to kill me. Because she's me. They missed their chance that Hot Androgynous Fae Patron. They did. Time. That made me want to watch the Sandman me. again. <laughs> Combative. 
You will not become a mind flayer. Independent. We there is I will keep a fight. Cleric's power conditional on anything outside, just generally praising that god. Their their powers are bestowed on them by the, that god. So, so they they pray for whichever power that they need. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I'll never forget him. boy <laughs> I forgot to go grab um for sort of first blood it's fine Binding that as a pack weapon made the damage go down. <laughs> Until my charisma is higher than my strength, it's not really an advantageous situation. Okay. It's fine though. Um... But you can absorb it for your good. Little thralls for shovel would be nice. I'm gonna do this though. See the magical power classes as such bard snake charms will weave. Druids touch grass, paladins are open, clerics pray, beg for power, warlocks are rightfully seduced, wizards fucking read, and sorcerers are built different. Not spotting gets like spotting unicorn romance, surprised that there isn't a mirror for Lazel or something sort of like that. Maybe someone we see among the ranks of the absolute Lazel might know. Mm, relative. Nobody like her. Okay, so like, I'm just gonna repeat the explanation again. There are not enough Gith Yankee on this plane of existence. Or the cult to have reasonably captured more than like the literal one that we see. Like even playing as Lazel, of the two Gith Yankee in the party, only Lazel got captured. The other guy isn't even tadpoled. He's a loser. Can't even be bothered to fully render himself for real. Goblins have silenced the owl beast. I'd expect no less of vermin. I guess the Oak Father's Embrace wouldn't be terrible for a couple of spots. Especially because I do have Agathis. Like, if I wanted to be really weird and try to Agathis tank some, some shadows. 
don't know about that though. These are supposed to be worth a fortune. Efficiency wise, what do I do astral knowledge for here? I think wisdom still makes the most sense. Oh wait, I'm not super worried about the Saluna chests. The crusher's ring I should go for now. Um Debating if I want to do the sleight of hand or the, um, the intimidation. I think I do the sleight of hand. Because I need to go get that ring over there. And bless is a prolonged rest. Okay. Kill that first wave of hyenas already. Right. Rescue Volo too. Do Flind. High chance I beat Flind at initiative though, and I don't want that to happen. To go get my shield of faith too. Right. 
my third colony. I do need to get Lurk Daris attitudes up for for bombing purposes. Welcome back. I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. for stuff. Gives me an AoE, gives me plus spell save DC and bonus spell attack rolls, which would be accuracy for my Eldritch Blast and my Scorching Ray. Well. Really do that respect now. It might be enough to cover rent. Also, take the time to get a fifty attitude with Aaron. I do in freeway. Not this one. For a mere pittance, as the. Like those is my spells. Uh, if I give up alert and take a different feat, that still puts me in a weird position against um. other things where I'd be pretty much forced to vigilance. No. We run alert at least until after we've dealt with Karnas. An idea is I can lower my decks very slightly. The advantages of this. Blind would have a more solid chance of beating me in initiative, but my my bow accuracy would just be worse everywhere else. Not worth it.
is Lazel's warlock patron. Whack it. Starian's head on Estelle's body now. Well, Home Club's such a good name for a store. I wonder where Derek got the idea from. What can they accomplish? The world may never know. Let us have words. Welcome back. I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. These so to reflexively clicking balance offer. The whole point is that that offer needs to be unbalanced. I could use a C invis scroll every long rest instead of getting Volo's eyes so I could keep him as a vendor for a while. I'm kind of not opposed to the idea fully the resource economy. Damon's attitude up too. Yeah, I think this is a Damon lives to act three run. You know, world is full of mysteries. Like, how can I be all right by Jahira if Tally is dead? Asking the real questions. Yeah, 
And where did I just get another tadpole from? Or did I just forget to spend my third one? Not forgot to spend the third one, because... How do I have three? Edwin got Nettie's room. Okay. Right, right, right. Need something. Go for bow of awareness. I need to buy it yet, though. Pleasure. Serious question: Add a character in Act Three with five charisma, get better deals than level one character with max vendor approval uh, and three charisma. How much mileage does one actually get out of giving gold to vendors? Uh. What Mia said, I believe. Only vendors really saw is worth the money or a melon, dam, and land tarp. Uh, it depends on what you're purchasing and how much you're purchasing from that person. For example, uh, Jira, the, the quartermaster in the creche, even though you don't typically purchase from her too often unless you're stocking up on consumable arrows, there's so much of value in her inventory that you make your money back, provided you invest that money early enough. On, on like two purchases, you, you get that back. Um, depending on your actions, Damon can be available in all three acts, so he's worth it. Um, Lantarv, you don't invest in because you can max out his attitude with a dialogue check. Aaron, you can get his attitude half up by being a druid the first time you talk to him. Um, Blurg and Dareth are very worthwhile because you can have access to them for all three acts, as long as you do not give the, um, the Githyanki egg to... Uh, Esther. Uh, Omelum's not really worth because everything he sells is already super duper cheap. Gloves on the headband. Uh, on on who? Who, who? Who are we talking about? Jira? Uh, she's got way more desirable stuff than that. Knife of the Undermountain King, which she does drop on death, but um, Unseen Menace. A defender flail. She sells consumable arrows. She sells uh, high level healing potions. Fresh lady. Oh yeah, there's there's lots more stuff than that. Yeah, yeah. Her inventory is mostly just good. Um, it can be worth getting Mattis's attitude up because Mattis is also available in all three acts as long as you convince Roland to stay in the Grove in Act One. Um, Volo can be worth, though most people opt to just steal from Volo. Same with Barkus. My condition you can't likes use Barkus as a vendor as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon.
Listen, I need to speak to you. To all you what? such a reveal to all I saw to crop. We come now to the crux. What? Uh Roe Moonglow can be worth because Roe Moonglow is a vendor in Act I 1 thought. and 2 and has a what ton is? of valuable stuff in Act 2 After in all particular. It's terrible. As long as I absorb in a level of city the sun. All of this. Now. If you, for some reason, wanted to kill Ethel before she went to her basement, getting Ethel's attitude up is worth it, because then you can perilous stakes her. Yeah, they buried Aridin. They came up later. Excuse me. As long as I never trigger this conversation. Hmm. Just a couple things I forgot to do. Detour. Hello, Petal. Hey, bother. I don't need you to stockpile those anymore, Ethel, but I do need you to stockpile that. Ethel is the only vendor that sells water before Act 3. So, definitely want to keep an eye on that. Need to sell more stuff to Blurg. It's more efficient to give money to Max Attitude and then sell items afterwards. Because um, attitude is both buy price and sell price. One gold is always worth one, but an item worth one gold might not necessarily always be worth one gold. Exactly, Raksha. Have you? I do enjoy a good bargain. Raksha, Rakshael. Again, correct me. I like getting people's names right. We could do stupid things like that, like throw bottles into a river, turn them into water. It it really bothers me that you can't fill empty bottles. It really bothers me. <laughs> like an unreasonable amount. It's just a tiny little thing, but ugh. I need 600 gold, so I need to sell more stuff to you, Blurk. I need 600 because it'll be 400 to... Well, I actually probably won't bother maxing out. Rakshael. Okay, Rakshael. Very much. Uh, I like to get people's names right. We talked about this a bit earlier. It's like a, it's like a respect thing, you know? Why even bother adding empty bottles to the game at that point? Mm -hmm. Welcome back. Have you... I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. Very... 
now go back to the grove. Give 400 gold to Damon. Um, mostly for future purchases. I'll be buying a couple items from him in Act 2, and provided he survives to Act 3, that'll help me out there too. Um... We're gonna assign a druid level, and then talk to Aaron, and go spam refreshes on Dareth for our other two levels to, to get access to more bombs. Then we're gonna respec again, spam refreshes on Dareth again, um, but only after we give another 200 gold to Aaron to max out his attitude. We may as well. I kind of liked about DOS 2 crafting, there were a lot more items you could pick up useful. Feathers for teleport scrolls, well, chanterelles for invis pots, nails for your boots. That's a really cool thing. I missed that from that game. Walking quite through cutting a pillow open was funny. It didn't click in my brain. I was like, what did you want me to do here? <laughs> One of my earbuds is going. Bite your fingers off. Steel. I have, well, something close. Okay, yeah. Now I go over to Aaron. We sign that druid level. Respec again to get another druid level later. But... What? Well, but you'll need to be quick. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Fifty attitude. You can't see it behind my cam here, but twenty-two percent discount here. It's because the first time you speak to Aaron, if you, you have any amount of druid levels, it just knocks off half the price. You don't need to stay a druid after that either.
Sylvanas. Now I go back to the Microsoft colony. Was this ass already? Why at least I'll over Wolf or Warlock? Uh, what? I'll, I'll answer your question with a question. What does Will provide to being a Warlock, mechanically? Welcome back. Have you made any new discovery? I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. Very well. So many minds connected. What could they accomplish? Welcome back. Oh, no. I greet you. More personality than Nelson. That's true. Honest. Well, there you go. With Will, you get the, the features that humans get, which you could also get by being Gale or by being Tav with a better inspiration route um, and without a downside that we'll get to, or by being Dirge. Uh, that's it. Will's features innate to him are he is already one eyed, so he can't get Volo's eye. He has rapier proficiency no matter what class he is. That's it. There's no gear that's exclusive to him that you can't get through companion will. Um, nothing. Whereas Lazel is a Githyanki. Githyanki get medium armor proficiency. They get astral knowledge. They get once per long rest, jump, and misty stuff. And mage hand. Get a few advantageous, um... Dialogue checks throughout the game. Well, Will is the weakest origin. Because you get pretty close to nothing. Your Will, does no one come in and help with the Zevler Gate fight? Correct. So Will even gets that fight being harder. Not a great perk. the lamest origin? I don't think so. I like Will as a character. To be honest, didn't make straight for asking the first place. Thought the origins locked to the class they are. Later on, the origin runs yet. Nope, you can uh, you can respec. I obviously have to start the game as whatever that origin is, but because for my own personal rules, I allow myself to play the Nautiloid as normal. All that means is the second I talk to Shadowheart on the beach, I'm level two. I take a level in the class I'm supposed to be, and then I play as that until I get Withers, where I respec to drop the original class level. That's all that means. What's weird about Lazel Origin? There's some dialogues where Lazel having absolutely no social skills means you can't do things you could normally do. That's that's annoyed me a couple times so far. 
Well? How you doing today, Irish? Good to see you. in case I need to make an explosion. Just a little more stuff. Slams. I still have everyone's clothes. Oh, give me these. I saw a little bit fun to watch doing a Pally Warlock my playthrough. Pretty damn fun. Just divines my reactions are fun. I, I personally don't find it fun. Um, well? it's very simplistic and restrictive gameplay. Uh, in terms of things that I like. Uh, the reason why I'm least looking forward to Paladin is because it's going to be boring. <laughs> But, hey, as long as there's people who are going to enjoy watching it, that's something. I'll tell you right now, I'm not going to enjoy doing it. Undetected. Dost thou require... Make it fun? The way to make Paladin fun for me is by not playing Paladin. Or by doing things that are not within the wheelhouse of Paladin. I'm gonna learn my lesson with solo paladins, just dull. Yeah, you're just doing things that other classes would do better and not using your paladin features because they're extremely unreliable or unsustainable. You serve my purpose. The correct outcome. The correct outcome. Yes, the correct outcome. Start planning the sorcerer run. Uh, I was actually thinking about doing something spicy with like a poison sorcerer build. Like draconic bloodline, poison. Um, Ray of sickness is actually pretty decent damage per click. Poison spray could be invested into. 
Darv knows their own tastes. I also have Tavern Brawler, Monk, Gloop Stalker, Ranger, Rogue, and a normal straight fighter, so the team's kind of carrying my pal is just there. <laughs> yeah, sounds right. Well. Be fun. Seems like it. I know So Black as myself did a, um, Poison Claire. And while he was talking about that on his stream, I was, uh, just thinking. Cooking. Because it just might be a nice buff for a warlock. Or no. Um, would it be more of a buff than the taking a Paladin level over a Warlock level would be a nerf? I don't think so. A bit like a Bacon class in PG3, its main functions make other stuff better. Uh, and it's bad at that because other classes also make other classes better more than Paladin does. For example, you'll see a lot of people take a two-level Paladin dip. What's stopping you from taking a two-level fighter dip instead? Need anything else? Or a two-level spore druid dip? Of course, but please remember. It functionally does the same thing, but more consistently, more sustainably. Like, oh, uh, okay, sure, you could do that, but like, why are you? And if the answer is fun. Cool. That is the correct answer. If it's something that you think is thematic and flavorful and that you enjoy it, absolutely, by all means, more power to you. My problem is when people start running around saying that it's better than other options. Here's the thing about Paladin. It's never better than anything else. It's, it just isn't. In, in the context of BG3. Like, I have to amend that because every time I can hear the blood pressure of a tabletop player going up. Silva. Mostly smite and drive out in BG3 because I get to play multi class. No DM usually lets me play. Lock it in. Fair enough. Yeah, smite is the. is cool if you don't mind making Sacred Flame do the same damage as Sacred Flame, cost a resource, be an attack roll on a class that most likely has no significant accuracy boosts and is more likely to have accuracy decreases. Um, works on a single target goes off of your very limited number of spell slots. If you like Sacred Flame that much, and don't want to play a, a cleric for some reason, then yeah. Devotion has accuracy. Yes, unsustainably, but yes. Welcome back. I do enjoy a good bargain, if anything in my private collection is to your liking. Very well. I... Also, Breaker gets a friend, one singular friend. Yes, that's true. If they can get two friends if they use one of their spell slots on Animate Dead at level nine. That's that's pretty cool. You know who else can use Animate Dead? Anybody with a scroll. Control and dead's cool though. Yo, 
was expecting a my mom. <laughs> I'm taking Witch Bolt in case I want to do Wet Lightning stuff. Yeah. Control Undead has so many fun gimmicks few people have touched. Yeah, that's one of the, the things that is genuinely interesting about Paladin because it's something other classes can't do. That's a value. Something mechanically distinct that other classes can't do, I should add. I don't hate the idea of taking invis with one of these slots. But we take Hellish Rebuke. Oh, casting Branding Smite is decent, I guess, since you could use it with Titan String. I mean, if you can get past it costing action, bonus action, and concentration. Sure. Beat Barb yesterday, GG. Yeah, thanks, Manfred. How are you today? Seeing tag really funny to me because the prerequisite is getting advantage. Like, hey, you want this good thing? You gotta get this other good thing first, sure. And now I have two good things. Well, also, you could just have an ally standing next to them and you sneak attack without advantage. Pretty important tech in the solo run. Also, why summons are so good on rogues. Almost two weeks on barbs. Yeah, reset will do that. Um, one very late game reset, and then one uh, pretty much in the middle of the game reset. Now, oh, is there an enemy you can see attack with no advantage? Yes. Hand crossbow is just too good in this game. Um, early on, yeah. In terms of actually dealing damage with bows, they get absolutely smacked by long bows and short bows, like very, very hard. But the the appeal of hand crossbows is action economy. Being able to have a ranged attack on your bonus action is uncommon, and very early on, that's very good. description has that. It does, but we we should know uh, take in-game descriptions with a grain of salt.
repositioning. Especially play Borderlands, yeah. Echo of Lost Love and Possessed People counts as Undead. I have no idea what enemy you're talking about. Is that the the ghost in the Oscar quest in Act 3? Just hazarding a guess. done that quest once and i hate it and also oscar's a piece of shit so i just always kill him in act one now so I, i've only done it once smart can I reasonably get there yeah let's let's deal with that second pack of nulls roll undead Isabel after kill Kevin it's about killing anyone you imagine are up here. I guess bloodlust. My path be true. I was gonna have to take one for the team here.
still out of range? I need Crusher's Ring, man. That won't work. Yeah, I noticed. You crit me and took out my entire Agathus in one hit. Fuck you. Carrion. Some undead in this game were given features that stop them from being controlled. I don't know if he's one of them, but you also have to be a higher level than the thing you're trying to control, and they also need to fail a save against you. So even if it is possible to control Mr. Carrion, um, seems unlikely you could. Thank you for testing. level 12, so, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, can Oathbreakers control Oscar's dead X? Uh, yeah, yeah, homie did, I mentioned that. I was gonna go for Flint now, but, like, that crit and lack of movement speeds got me feeling some kind of way. Not more AC yet. A blur scroll. Time pretty dang easy to get if she gets the other drive like zero combat required. Yeah. Yep. 
actual zero combat required. did not beat me in initiative. Unfortunate, but not unexpected. I could survival instinct myself. Getting a mage hand in seems better, to be honest. Blade Ward would have gone hard here. That's okay. to get blessed. The shop you see now will see your whole world as a memory. The bee bear a strange symbol glows marked on their flesh. And something within you stirs sensing in its host something stirs. Oh. Not the turrets. Look at it. Go turn base, run. Of course, I broke concentration on blur on the first attack. Ah, I rolled a one on the saving throw against the arrow. Great. Toughness. You just get that with a quarter staff, two handed, and decent strength. Not too hard to deal with those. Do that well, Flint.
Good job on the insta save and paralysis. That's huge. trying to look for me. I'm content to stay right here. There's the damage. Holy shit. 40 damage. Two of those were a crit. Yeah, two of those were crits. Yeah, that's why I'm scared of this. Look how much damage that one null just did. I was too busy being terrified of that. To... to self the way I should have. was insane damage. That fight for me to play the solo. It'd be real scary. I could get shovel in. I shouldn't have used my bonus action there. I could have just jumped. Charges. Yeah, I, I don't want to invite that multi-attack. Uh, Blade Warg would have been good here. Do I re-up Blur? Do I have another scroll for Blur? Of course I don't. an illithid parasite in that corpse. You should take a look. Path interrupted. How do you, how do you figure? Um... Oh, let's see. This is where a shovel... Come in and take a couple of hits for me. Time to Do I have the mats to make elixir of heroism? I don't. Problem: Shovel doesn't have enough HP to take more than one. Threaten range here. Okay. Now that one can't move, so it should definitely go for shovel. Unless. Okay. Yeah. Mm. That could have gone better. 
You have to dash. You will probably move and be able to multi-attack at me. Oh, that's bad. Okay, I saved. Acquired food. Ooh, what you got? Just don't give me the Flynn treatment. Fucking tried to. They're critting so much today. It's so scary. A 20 and 2 1. I would like my rolls to make sense. Sure. Cool. I love that. One turn to Featherfall, my jump ran out though. Game's gonna bullshit me, I can bullshit it right back. So scuffed. Ah. Bye. Are any of my crew still alive? Risen roads more dangerous than it. We're bound for Baldur's Gate. Let tell the fellow on the door. Let that was so ah. fucked up on like a lot of levels. Remember, one Null did 40 damage to Flynn in one turn. And, and then I crit missed the bunch of Scorching Rays. They crit me again. I crit failed a uh, saving throw that caused me to also lose my concentration it it it, it was just it's fucked up so you made it it stressed me out though like i did one combat sorry two combats this long rest and i'm completely out of resources already I need things like that to not happen on Warlock, because if I have to burn more resources than I intended, like, I get two spells until Act 3. I have two spells. Now, once I get access to Lantarv and start really bullying the resource economy, I can short rest pot in between fights. But until then, it's uh, scary. I don't think I'm going to do Optimal Joaquin's Rest after that fiasco. Just out on a little bit of XP, but I'm not trying for level 11 anyway, so. 
can afford to do that. Get stressed uh, clearing Moonrise for doing the raid to make the raid easier. Yeah, it can be very stressful. See what happens. Ice or curse today. <laughs> They're so weak. <laughs> the self-satisfied smile. We That's so Lazel. <laughs> and I got the inspo back. The rest of and you, Githyanki. I must ask again for your aid. May I trust you'll see it through? I will see this. I'll seek this. I'll sparkler. Chunk XP from doing that. You gonna run up here, Ben? I suppose not. Mary! Have you seen her? Stayed. If I just kept my mouth shut, she said I'd never see it. Oh, Mary. No. Okay, gamers, this is called soap. We pick that up so that we can we can be clean. I only found out about that recently, so I figured I'd tell you guys. Work. 
This is the spot Rugen marked. Doesn't look like much. You literally took away the primary reason to use water bottles. You spot Bugger! I guess you could use water for that, huh? Surely there's nothing else we use water for. Surely there's no, uh, no combat applications of that. There's a turn off persistent blood feature like Dragon Age Origins has. Yeah, that would be nice. At least, uh, you can just keep a, uh, soap bar on your bar. Use it and it just cleans it. No animation or anything. I hate is strong in this game. In universe, uh, drow are evil, evil, systemically. So caution is warranted, though. You know, you see people taking it too far. Which, truth in television. People will uh, act irrationally when they see someone who is different than them. Do you use Lazel soap bar for what? I mean, what? What have we here? Trader can show you. Well, if you have the gold, of course. Got some interesting stock for a friend of the family. So, Titan Shrink? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's just too good. It's inescapable. Is of the Titan String Bow. Come on. Look, are we Look at this guy. Only for this. I thought we was packing. Free me now, and I'll see that my patron rewards you. I need only tell her it's a gambling debt. It's happened before. Did that artist really paint all those things? Says he did, yeah. Why? Says his muse made him do it. Who's that, then? God's little brother. Read a pleading. Um. Patrol with Beretha. I could take them out and be reasonably easy. But. Not something I want to attempt right now, especially not without resources. Um, we could go get Leviatar's love. Feeling that. Oh, Crusher's ring too. Crusher's ring.
Let's go for Crusher's Ring right now. I've got sleight of hand. Try healing this. Oh, killing? Ah, he can't kill. Fresh. The mark glows, but you feel nothing. But go up or I'll kick your head in, slug face. What was that? That's more like it. As you're the pleasant. You enjoy it. Ring. This crotch. Yeah, you you can do the crusher fight on your solo honor warlock with no spell slots. You can do that. Need something? Talk of the backpack more. I don't love that I had to use my Shatter Scrolls like that. That felt bad. But it was consistent damage. And I survived the fight, so... I'll just call it resource well spent. Stop thinking about it. Pleasure. I have, I have armor of Agathus, right? Or is this blood loss HP? This is blood loss. Okay. It's like, what if Abderak gets my Agathus? Ah, pain without purpose is a t exactly pain. Forgive me, but that, please. My work can grant peace and serenity. Oh, both low. Simply. I didn't expect Lazel to have unique dialogue here. That's cool. Yes, this will exactly do pain. nicely. That's very memeable. 
The pain you suffer will cleanse you. Do not fight it. Runs would work here, but the problem is taking damage could break the concentration, which would then get people mad at you. Pain is proof that we live. Revel in it. That's it! Do one! Let Leviata hear you! This guy went so hard in the booth. You are doing so well! Do not give in now! Yes, you can, child! Take the pain and offer it up to Loviata. Yes, proof that we live. <laughs> I think I had advantage there because I got to low enough health threshold. Sweet child. Hmm. I am proud to have Like fucking owl, man. He was rolling high. Excuse me. Ugh. Thank you. My dear Gribblina, just don't go bothering my pity. He's yeah, was her I'd suck him dry on the spot. Respect. What's it to ya? The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Bring him. He's the king. I guarantee the story of your. We mustn't tarry, but. I Dragslin's area now. These two, this human and this drow. Oath breaks. Walking, talking, oath breaks. right for once. A good chunk of gold. When you offer sacrifice someone the ball, none of the companions question your decision. They simply try to make excuses why they shouldn't be executed. 
I mean, I, I feel like that's the survival instinct kicking in. It makes perfect sense to me. Fleet fingers are over here. I'd like to get those. I don't move Ethel from the grove. Without delay. Do I care about that yet? Not really a big deal right now. Where's the Fleet Fingers dig spot? Somewhere in this vicinity. Walk around until I fail a survival check. Or perception check. In this case. A lot of shit in that chest, too. Fleet Fingers, my beloved. So we can use Boots of Speed plus Fleet Fingers for some pretty good mobility. We don't have high strength, so we can't jump too far. It's still extra mobility, because that jump doesn't cost any movement speed. Potential. Club missing on a ninety. Great. Your lifted potential. Yeah, the timing of that one was a little uh all interesting. Assume nothing. In character, but interesting. Your spine. 
You feel like you're being watched. Yeah, the Warlock one's DC 15 instead of 20. This isn't a check that matters anyway. The place has a... Oh, you'll see the next Remnant 2 DLC got announced? Yeah, I'm very excited. I was playing some Remnant 2 last night to prepare. Very excited. I don't the gods grant me patience. At that regular swimming in your brain. I, what do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? new area, but I don't know if it's just a new area of Yesha. Well, is that not still a new area? What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? Here for what? Technically, yes. No, not technically. It's it's new. <laughs> Map that did not exist before in this new area. for the cog evidence. Fellow broker and Vizvi walk through the water. Enough waiting. I crave blood. Proceeding. While I'm as sick of Yesha as most other Remnant players probably are, uh, we do ourselves no favor by pretending that new areas aren't new areas or attaching some sort of weird conditionality to it. I could try stealing the thing for Sorrow from Wrath now too, actually. Close of Thievery. I think I got pretty good chances there. Action, not reaction. to turn around.
I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, lightning bolt, and of course, engine door. Company. Could use those. Old person scrolls might be something I actually buy too. Maybe next time I do respect stuff, I get Volo's attitude up too. If it's Volva, are we calling Volo Volva now? The Druid Halson had some kind of. As a matter of fact, that's quite impossible, isn't it? Found and taken. Repositioning. Those panels. I know I haven't said that. All the more reason to find. I wanted you to know the blade. The shirtless man. The shirtless man was sad and told you that he wanted you to know the blade, how would you react? <laughs> Same brain cell, Felicia. We had the same thought at the same moment. <laughs> I would ask him if he's mentally stable. He's not. No one in this game really is. A new DLC character or something, never heard of him. Yeah, yeah, I think they just patched him into the game after my last playthrough. He seems like a new addition. Waited past the point where sorrow is truly useful. But I do get the XP for opening this up. This is a tiny amount. Quickly then. Patching of the game after dying and go to death. So kind of the devs to continue adding new content just as we discovered a new character named Astarian. I I didn't know you could keep Astarian past uh, getting a, a stat buff. Storm scroll? Hell yeah. This blade is shadowed. I can feel the darkness moving within it. Like, I can make this a packed weapon. Use it. But Spell Sparkler. Mouse first staff. Better options.
This storm scroll is pretty pog though. I think it's a little bit of XP for talking to Zevlar, so let's do that. I wish Wrath would call me a cum boy more often. Oh no, he's talking to Silver. Right. Plate plus one early is probably something I should start routing in. Touch me and I'll bite your fingers off. I will. Because it's technically better than luminous armor. It's got that one piercing DR. Same AC properties overall. You can get it earlier. It's not me considering throwing Zoru in the death pit. Don't know what you mean. Lazel would do it. I'm just RP. I have so we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. It's no small thing to have wheel. One breast plate, the one from a copy. What does that one do again? Is it is it the same item or or is that the non magical one that's just named plus one breastplate? Is the breastplate named plus one breastplate? Yeah, yeah. Makabe's items are fucking stupid. From the moment I understood the weakness of my flesh, the scout speaker, strength and certainty of bone, inspired to the purity of the blessed skeleton, your kind cling to flesh, so it will not decay and fail you. What's that from? Very, uh, necromantic. Get it? Get it? Romantic? Like necro? I'm funny. Laugh. More hammer? Ah, I see. Stranger. Regrettable. For not food. And this land pro Now talk. Make me an offer. Tempt me. Spoken. We what lies within? Something over there. How to say lays all looks good in Will's clothes? I think so too.
see. More XP. What's a good chunk of XP we've not done yet? That's reasonable to do right now. Valen uh, is some. It's patrol. Uh, I really would prefer to wait until I have extra attack. Scratch doesn't trigger dialogue. I can have Scratch move some bombs into place. Not a bad idea. Anybody looks good in Will's clothes except Will. Oh yeah, that works out, huh? Hilarious Gale enchanted his underwear to tingle. It's such a Gale thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. Ourselves competition already. I don't know what the hell Rolla you can do are, this with the checks. See, we're shuffle I will ascend taking position
That's how you maximize XP for that group. Not many places in the game where talking someone down and then murdering them anyway is XP optimal, but that is one of them. That way, down there, go from here. time I've ever tried to use this armor. I think it'll work out nicely here. Basically, we're just cruising to level 5 now, um, at which point we'll start setting up for Grove Defense. I could just pick off the Goblin Camp. Probably most optimal to start clearing the Goblin Camp, but then opt for Grove Defense. Go grab the plus one dagger. It's fine. A lot of creatures in the grove could give good XP, such as tieflings and druids. I feel like those are fake things that you made up. Not ringing any bells. Links. Ah, you see, I understand that. But none of these are ones that I meant to lockpick. Ah, I can't forget Findal either.
I actually don't know if I bother getting Bolo's attitude up, because I can just steal. Proceeding. Can you get the fuck out of my way? Blackets will be done. Without delay. Examining. And pick up that key because it'd be too heavy. theme this playthrough, Scorching Ray. Pretty much it. <laughs> uh, Fiend also gets um, good defensive features at level 10. You get the ability to choose a resistance every short rest. To just have. You can only have one at a time from that, but I could just be like, hey, I would like to have piercing resistance, knowing that I was going to fight archers. Go, oh, piercing resistance. Pretty good feature. Features for Warlock are good for all three subclasses. Yeah, yeah, a great old one gets like Psychic Resist and a damage retort if they take Psychic Damage. That's pretty cool, forgot about that. I don't remember the Archfey one. But it's Archfey, so I don't really have to care.
on the move. Taking position. Ha! Charm immunity. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Give that from ring. No, it's just advantage against being charmed. Way easier to like going to the Underdark. I like going through um, Guts Bedroom. My go to. break concentration, but yeah, that's not bad. Maybe I keep this around. Thou require and that is where I was. You can't get that XP going in that order. Yeah, there's actually no reason to get withers uh any other way than going to the goblin camp unless you're dark urge. Why isn't withers there? Because if you go to the goblin camp he shows up in your camp. been in my camp for a while. Hey, you know, it'd be funny. Art. We're supposed to... We we have Shadowheart in Will's clothes. Lazel in Shadowheart's clothes. Will in Lazel's clothes. Have Gale and Astari in trade too, because that's funny. There we go.
Sorry, I was also checking my mail. So a couple other things. Being productive. Also, producing things in the, the bathroom, too. Yeah. That's part of it. Um... Could be absolutely insane to the spectator right now. That would be funny. I also don't have to do that. Because that would be absolutely insane. The other hand... With a darkness arrow... I can reasonably get... Hang on, let me cook. Fault <laughs> female dragonborn moment. Save the trouble contagion spads. Thank you for testing. Um, I know there's one good use for it, and you can apply it to Orin while she's, like, doing her transformed, you know, trolling of you. Like it's will be done. <laughs> and it'll stick. Go ahead. Uh, I need them to pass a perception check. The goblins still infest the roads. That. Okay. Sure. And where are you? Did you both fail? Gale failed. Will, you wanna? That's curious. Will saw it. Thank you. Not even a high DC. Go ahead. I oh. Well met. Are you sure that? Hmm. The shovel could just one shot that. Extra good takes too long to get off the ground in a practical setting, yeah. Yeah. Into the shadows. It wasn't me, it was default female dragonborn. She did it again. Without delay. I tried to stop her. I think Lazel carries blood. Indolence breeds madness. You know that indolence breeds madness? Counterpoint, Orin and Rivington. Yeah, yeah, I mentioned that. The exception to the rule. Sure, I wait long enough.
we'll stock up on those. Female dragon ward is a menace. Are you? Real. Early Shadow of Menzo Barons and is somewhat useful. Watching speedruns bring it back to sanity before I have a heart attack quag. <laughs> speedruns of what? This game? Yeah, this game's speedruns. Taking my chance. Interesting. how speedruns and challenge runs are both about breaking the game just in what different ways a book on flung free production <laughs> the inhabitants of this plane hold peculiar interests okay so if i can reasonably kill philro and loot his body i could have morning frost for um, some significant fights, and that's pretty cool. I don't think I'd try too hard to do that on this run, but on the Sorcerer run, maybe, because using Twin Cast on that Ray of Frost, unlike the Grove defense, would be pretty good. we got available. I push one of those Dwergar in the pit. No, we haven't gotten Infernal Rope yet. Trying to maximize the value of this Bloodlust Elixir, you know. Yeah, that means I probably should. Any mods? Uh, completely vanilla still. So. I'll eventually start playing with mods, but completely vanilla. Artificer class.
go with waiting out the rest of the speed pot. Hey, Greybomb. So we're on all about Eldritch Blast scaling. Sorry, I just uh, tapped in now. It's one of the things I'll be doing. Eldritch Blast is a pretty important part of Warlock's kit. Uh, that'll be a, a workhorse of my damage. There'll be a lot of Hunger of Hadara use, because I'm currently doing the Fiend subclass. There'll also be a fair amount of Scorching Ray. Warlock gets access to Armor Bag at this. I plan, um, I plan on making use of that as well. Probably see me do some Witch Bolt stuff too. There's lots of options. I don't multi-classing no source or anything, just 12 fiend. I might switch to Great Old One, I might briefly switch to Archfey. I plan on being pure warlock, um, with the exception of occasionally taking a level for a conversation option. Like I briefly took a, a druid level for getting a discount with Aaron that's permanent. Um I'll be taking a druid level again to get a quest reward item. Might take cleric levels to do the Raphael thing. Ballist Armorless run. Uh, I can still Ballist Armor Thorn Whip. Roxa Froxa. That's the thing. Not only can I Thorn Whip with my main action, if I keep Sorrow, I can Thorn Whip with my bonus action. You'll never be free of Ballist Armor. items are strong. It's a bit silly, the level of power, but what can you do? something I did for ages. What, the, the thorn whip thing? It, it sounds like it'd be pretty good. Like, particularly if you did that on a sorcerer. Or, you know, a, a multi-class combo that takes meta magic. Um, because it's very cheap to twin spell cantrips. This is a cantrip. Is one sorcery point each time. Um, and you can scale up cantrips with things like, uh, 
Well, in this particular instance, you can't have Potent Robe and Ballast Armor, but you can use Potent Robe until you get Ballast Armor. Yeah, doing two target Thorn Whip. And then, let's say you have a Haste action, so it was another two target one. Let's have you a Bloodlust action for another one, so another two target one. Um, and then you can use your bonus action, Quicken Spell one. Or you use your bonus action for Sorrow, and then you twin that one. You do a lot. Yeah, Tome Log gets Thorn Whip. Mm -hmm. And even Sorrow. Sorrow's to have the bonus action one. Because it's normally on main action. Yeah, I think I'll actually keep Sorrow around. Maybe we mess around with that once we get to Act 3. It's a fun concept. I like it. Thorn Lock. There's the skeletons on the way to the necromancy today. Could deal with those. Nine 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 remaining XP. Hmm. Spell my gloves on top as well in Act Three. True. True. Or crater flesh. Yeah, Crater Flesh is always an option, too. stupid risk. I don't need to take that stupid risk. Wait, I won't be greedy. Assume nothing. Um, Ethel's under dark entrance. The proc shock charges and these magic missiles, so if I remember correctly. Yeah. Objective noted. But, uh... Personally, I don't think I'd use Thorn Whip to enable Magic Missile when I could just use Magic Missile to enable Magic Missile. Okay. Beating. I rubber banded myself back up. 
Good to know. You can step on the fake platforms for very brief periods of time. Brief enough that you can be considered as on solid ground to jump. That doesn't go there until you've... Right, I see. Yeah. Not one false move. An efficient path. Yeah, that's another Underdark entrance if you, you need one. Oh, this one requires... To unlock it efficiently, you have to go through the Underdark. It's kind of moot. Like, you could get it by, um... Dealing with Ethel, but... Well, let's beat up the turrets now. Bit of the damage floor for that. mentality thing. If you believe you're standing on a platform, you won't fall. And damage, I can do to need to high roll. Pickpocket a Susur flower into Shovel's inventory and then park her next to Philra. Quickly then. I want to deal with him that way. It's just the hook chorus. Eh. Rather not deal with that yet. I don't need Morning Frost. I don't need Morning Frost. Not yet. It's just rattling around in my head. Like it legit be pretty good against your Ragslin. Maybe okay against Minthara. Grove defense, maybe. Say Balin, I guess. Yes, she is cataloging the core to room thirteen. Huh. I vaguely remember there's some strat. If you throw him a poison resist elixir, he doesn't trigger the bibber bangs anymore. Is that a thing? save the guy, so I usually don't care. Right now, I'm going to find out. Chuck a fireball in there. I guess I could just try throwing a poison or just a look at him. The class of remaining sorcerer, paladin, and warlock.
try it. Probably chuck Wolverine in there first, just to be safe. That would require touching Wolverine. I don't want to dirty my hands like that. considering luring the Hakora here and trying to clip it, but the problem is I kind of do want the mats for Vigilance Elixir. They're very much not right, but let's, let's cook. cat to be poisoned. I shouldn't linger. Failed the investigation check. I think I'm still in okay shape. I don't have my ideal boots on. Here's where we get My greedy. scroll did I Reasonably knock this thing off. Well, I should run away.
Still going for me. You gonna join in? Ah, Bill Rose in the combat now too. Very far away, but very much in the combat. Weekly combat. Yeah, that didn't go great. You gotta know when to rat and you gotta know when to run. I think I can still individually take out that one that patrols over there, though. Gotta be smart. you to scout. Now, did any of you start deviating from your normal positions? This might... Okay, it's still patrolling. You're facing the other way now, though. That's... awkward. Proceeding. Last time, mate managed to trigger a paladin smite or the dual crossbows. Uh, branding smite is allowed to be used on ranged attacks. Was it that? If not, they are playing with a modified game.
Soft Shovel. Don't take so much damage. Holy shit. I thought I had a burning hand scroll. I did. Repositioning. Be easier to deal with the others once I have two VM Eldritch Blasts, but fine for now. Wait! Scroll! Escape! Thank you! No idea if this will work. Finally breathe. Ah, right, as a uh,
forward. Mushroom? Oh, I was forgetting. Oh, if his hands are empty as a whole, we'll have to send him back out soon enough. Collecting noble stock. Well, go on then. Hand it back. You. Yeah, sixty XP and the gloves, which I can sell if nothing else. There's the fist. In Joaquin's rest, I could kill. But also. Kill Salazan. That's only 80. Dylan, <laughs> yeah, he's trash. He's trash. Push one of the Dwergar, that's 75. I could try getting to the Zen Underdark entrance, that would be XP. That would require me getting past the Minotaurs though. And the bullet trigger that's there. I don't I don't love that plan. I don't think I killed the intellect of ours. There's the rest of the the people in the Withers dungeon that I haven't killed, though. I'm leaving the door guy because um, sorry, an inspo there. I shouldn't need it. Does seem to scale up. Go from the Zent entrance all the way to the Mycena Colony, if that matters. You think I could do it in reverse? Maybe worth testing. Oh no, it's very tall. Ah. Every little bit, right?
worth examining. Resting should the next rest should be Mizora showing up. That would be Infernal Robe. I could dispose of some of the non-essential tieflings as well. There's Elika over by Joaquin's Rest. Though so she almost killed me once and like I don't, I don't really wanna have fate too much there. And if the fight spills over into the Gith Patrol, then that messes up my chances of getting a surprise around there. That's a risk I'd rather not take. It really annoys me that Shadow of Menzo Berenson's invisibility is only two turns. I could maybe use that to get into the Zent Underdark entrance through the hideout. But that's risky. Bothers me more that it's light armor. Yeah, that too. The two in the barn, though, they're scary. Start wiping more goblins there. I think wiping the Blighted Village. Double near me at all. these goblins is 20 xp i think there's one two three five six No, you, you just didn't notice. Very attentive. Oh, no, you did. Three, three. I want the surprise around on you.
ever need you to kill Shovel? I mean, you can. You'd have to mineral to not kill. Good job, Pebble. Need to deal with those. Objective noted. Let's have a look. Best to make it. Oh, fire arrow, I do. One's over here blocking the way to the mountain pass. I can almost reasonably kill those with a fire arrow. I don't have lunch one meal a day. I eat lunch sometimes. I forget to eat. It's uh, it's not good. <laughs> Halson is some good XP. Money. Um, but I'm not sure I want to do that with no resource. Go loot the alchemist fires from the cave where Rugen and Ollie were. Skeletons. Play to the book. Those scare me though. Because each of them can just one shot me. It's cool trying to figure out which XP I can grab, like, safely. I enjoy that. What's the brain to work? Dagger from up here is 15. Grab that. 15 XP isn't a lot, but it comes into play. deal with them yet. Giants are scary. Ogres. Ogres. Securing. Be 
beast fit for an ogre. You notice a peculiar dagger protrude or caught. Level 5 will be big because that's third level spellcasting. That's uh, my extra attack uh, with my packed weapon. And it's also a second beam of Eldritch Blast. Like, Warlock gets an insane power spike at level 5, and I want to have that for as many combats as possible. High close journal. I don't think I can get the XP from it now because I've already been to the tree. Master weapons. The blueprints can't be far. I did that in the wrong order. Lost out on XP. That's a little unfortunate. I definitely don't want to piss off Ethel yet because I don't know how much water I'm gonna need. So I need to keep that option available. Ah, Findal. Yes. That's something I can do. I can also do the spider fight up there if I pass the perception check. I have a nice storm scroll. Forgot about that. by I don't know how much water I'm gonna need. So water? Uh there's only a finite amount of it in the game that you can like find and RNG loot and fix locations and stuff. The only vendor that sells it before Act 3 is Ethel. And if you piss off Ethel you can't use her as a vendor anymore. Now water is good because not only can you uh, extinguish fire surfaces, you can douse yourself so you're immune to burning and resistant to fire damage. Um, if you make an enemy wet, they're vulnerable to cold and lightning damage, which means they take double damage from it. So if I, say, take a water bottle, drop it at someone's feet, offhand shot it with my crossbow, they get wet, I can then witch bolt them in the face for double damage. And witch bolt's an attack roll, so it can crit. Which, which doubles the damage, so this this 2d12 damage I could turn into uh, currently up to 96 damage right now. By luck of the Far Realms on a wet enemy and max roll. So, making sure water is available, especially while I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, it's good policy. Well, 
least we got the drill to keep ourselves entertained. Supposed to use that barking blessing. I forgot. I think Lysel like is Fury and Death. game too so i believe she's fury and death squared Ooh. i thought she was lazel but you would know best Oh, thank you, thank you. I thought I was gonna die down here. They were asked. Oh, no. What did he say? Told them the only weapons here are the ones that the foul bloods brought. Ah, another racist. Okay, we'll kill him later. Objective noted. Could have killed him now, but I am considering the possibility of using him as a distraction in another fight. So. Don't want to confront Kaga yet. I would like to have resources for that. Could poison the booze, get some XP, but it would net me less overall XP. Um, I didn't free the guy. Turn into a drow and free. What's the stick? Next door. Shabby 
it like he was beating something up. Oh, yeah, beating it good. What? The prisoner? Holika is 40, Salazon is 40, Flaming Fist is 40. I don't think I tried the perception check or the dowry. We can go to Joaquin's Rest and do that. Great guard helm. Great guard helm. is there. Um, let's get the alchemist fired from that cave. Securing. Big spot under the bridge, I should grab two. Now, I would get XP from turning in Anders' sword, or turning in Karlak's head for Anders' sword Well, but I need to kill them right away, or else I believe they just despawn if I get too far away. Um, I don't want to do that with no resources. We hold off on that too. Assume nothing. Found and taken. I like traps here and I'm not sure where they are, so Proceed. we're gonna go the long way. I'm being far more cautious than I need to be. I'm also not resting as much as I could. Sometimes you gotta keep the runs interesting. Be a good chance to thonk about my options. And it's uh, it's making me use tech that I might not. Like, I, I forget about Minor Illusion so much of the time. But I used it a bunch in this rest cycle. Wanna finish your bar run? <laughs> yeah, Ari. The curse is broken. Although the ending was was funny. And uh, and cursed and on brand. That boulder path is both difficult and makes for a much harder Nulls fight, which confuses me. Yeah, I don't understand. Because it's like, there's tons of barrels, there's the boulder trap, and then you also get denied the opportunity for Flind to talk to you, and they also have high ground on you. And it's like... Mm, no. <laughs> Do I need to bank the inspo? Uh, yeah, actually, I'll, I'll bank that in case I need to burn some on Kaga. And... Hmm. Probably don't do the talkie-talkie there. Like, here's the thing, though. I'm legitimately considering just yellowing a command drop at Voss. 
Because if I win an initiative, I can still just peace the fuck out. We we got a little bit to think about how stupid that would be to attempt. Does allow you to more easily steal the chest and dip immediately. I suppose. Yeah, if you were just there for the chest and leaving. Yeah. That's an option. Like, I only need plus 8 initiative to be fine there. And I have plus 8 initiative. Or kid, get your best sword. It would unironically be nice for the Zathis. And then I would not really care much about it. Cause, like, Soulbreaker Greatsword is better. Which is just funny. The blue one is better than the legendary one. what makes it better. Soulbreaker Greatsword gives plus two initiative. And initiative is one of the most important stats in the game. Have a good day, Mr. David Bowen. Appreciate you. Some good rest. See you next time. still have never used that Crooked Wand of Fireballs. Maybe on the Sorcerer run, because then I can distance spell it. But I've still not used it. I gotta update that. Oh. 
Thank you, Gretel. Okay, so yeah, you can misty step up the cliff face and then just jump to get up here. Do school info. I don't need to be sneaking up here, but uh, I'm just going to be careful. I have money from raiding this as well. Certainly a fan of that. 40x for exploration. Probably change it to a to do list right about now. Uh, yeah, it would be more succinct to just be like, hey, these are the remaining classes. But for some people, they like seeing you know, the list of ones that have been done. Because it can be easy to forget the existence of a class if you're not super familiar with it. Bunch of chests for me to lockpick. Bunch of stuff for me to sell. is to your liking. I like those scrolls actually. Blurring, that would be that'd be very nice. Would appreciate that. I wouldn't say no to a fireball either if you wanna 
park that. That's in the backpack. Let's check Dareth. I don't remember if I checked for bombs after that last respec I did. Bombs, one holy water. Good on alchemist fires and void bulbs at least. If I pop a strength pot, I could kill a second Dwargar at the lake. But. Is that worth committing a strength pot right now? Especially considering I have zero and I should buy some right now. Having ADHD sometimes is useful because no point in lingering now. I've got the with normal pro processes, I never would have realized how low I am on strength pot. some of the petrified drow. I think there's enough that that would actually level me. But I don't want to do that yet. Pick off a couple isolated goblins. The ones up top at the goblin camp are a good shout. The guy with the book who disappears when you hit him. I want to talk to him. See if I can talk him into just giving me the book. Hmm. Evelyn's gonna get you closer. Drunk. Yeah. Dead, the pity. Yeah, they could. With him, though. It's just the mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Friends. Yeah, that'll be an inspo. For me later. Uh, born couple, no resources, and no go. I could do a partial clear of the skeletons. I think each of them's 10 XP though, so really I should just do all of them. Definitely don't want to do red caps until I have a ring of free action. Would prefer not to do harpies. I wonder if I can just send shovel in. Send shovel and trigger the fight, knowing that it's dooming Murakon, but like, I don't care. But I don't really have the bombs to clean up the harpies afterwards anyway, so we'll wait. What are you mad about? What I do? Is it me playing optimally? Is that upsetting? Evelings are an endangered species around here. Yeah.
It's just optimal lays out roleplay. Matriarch now. Oh, I'm sorry. you to jump but okay your, your jumping sucks because 14 strength forgot about how much i hate having low strength clutch the pouch possessively. You have no doubt. A spider egg is nestled within. Was it failing the check that causes the combat here? Just shoot the rock. Almost worth one owlbear. A bag lies within the crevice. You stuck. You even still get the spider egg sack you can throw. Yeah, that's just very optimal. XP by going through where Scratch was to where Carlac was. Let's try that. The higher level tieflings are worth one owl bear each. Explains why the goblins could kill the owl bear so easy. That's the, the scaling. But murder hobbling you, you, and you. I could probably get away with killing that bear down by the water. It's far enough away that I don't think anyone would aggro.
Already killed Pandarna. Do I really pop a strength pot just to throw Zoru and Ikaron in the pit? I do. Show no mercy. Hmm. Liam is also here. I don't wonder if that'll go. Uh, let's gamble. Disapproves. Fine, well, you'll get over it. Into the shadows. Him. Brother. You gotta go too. not standing there because Barth is there. Instead, we're just sitting. We our best chance to make it to Baldur's Gate is on our own. Yes, I'm the name. I'm just sad. Too bored. Barth interaction give XP. Is it checklist? I mean, I have inspo, so I'm close to. Let's see. Hand it over, or I'll slap you threatening me. Intimidation doesn't get favorable beginnings. That is XP. Maybe see you around. Never get the <laughs> shit out of my clothes. Okay, where are you going? Uh, Barth can go in the murder pit now. Yeah, that was 15 XP. Good call, Rox Froxo. now in his appropriate spot.
<laughs> the fact that you used the fucking ladder. <laughs> I don't think he will leave, but build this cruise. That's fine. I'll get over it. Maybe. Is that shrink pot for anything else? Some spell sparkler are equipped now that I have a shrink pot. Um, Tiefling's not on the list, he didn't leave. Okay. Well, from camp, my Tiefling harm sense is tingling. There's people in the Withers dungeon, I guess. Cruel is still in the dumpster. Yeah, this is definitely not a Will Romance run. <laughs> Did the one XP tieflings, which I should leave alone now. That amounts to less than an owlbear, usually. Right. The squirrel and tiefling up there, that's 2 XP. That's a little bit, right? <laughs> House and XP gives me a bit more flexibility with the grove. That's true, house and XP. Where did you take him to, to do that? You, you abducted him, right? Shh, I'm concentrating. Does this look good? Is the coin in the middle? Exe on him. Hmm. Killed the wild shape and brought house over there. Okay. I was thinking about using this guy to my advantage in Harpies. Is he even fucking here? No, he's not. Oh, I guess he's still standing there until you finish investigate Kaga. Yeah, I shouldn't kite out here because Alfira. Like it's will be done. 
Alright, Shovel's gonna go on a bit of an adventure here. Might be exploration XP. Strongman guitar time. Is someone singing? Shovel doesn't trigger anything here. That's unfortunate. I could try having Shovel attack Murkon, but I don't think that... I don't know if I want to risk that. I don't, I don't think I do. Acuity. That's gonna be a fucking headache. Ugh. I don't even deal with that. Grave. I want to rob. Why does the cursed arch pay respect for harpies? Typing that causing physical pain. That's an option. But we'll. <laughs> Try to jump on my desk. I can see you. I will be heard. A vampire. <laughs> so. Gail's been walking around this whole time with some all right. Yeah, okay.
well met. That They're here for perception checks. Can't afford to stay idle. There's something hidden here in the hay. Good job, Shark. Soon we'll camp, and you'll have your answers. More than you bargained for, in fact. Uh, okay. Something the matter? If you sh sh Who'd keep a secret like that from his friends? You can't trust anyone these days. <laughs> yeah. He sounds so unhappy at the idea of talking to Will. Wow. Well met. Are you sure? And one true way. I'm admiring everyone's drip. <laughs> Five XP. Unseen. Steady and is needed. One more. Okay, so now I kill the flaming fists and the Zent guy. That's the Quickly level. Then. It's still so low. <laughs> this is annoyingly high, you see. Yeah. Seeing that. Victory awaits.
proceeding. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Within reach. There we go. See? It was easy. Required no planning or effort whatsoever. So how easy it is. Oh yeah, another invocation at 5 too. Forgot about that. Guiling influence could be pretty okay. Efficiencies right now. Deception. So that would be a bit of wasteful. Be a bit wasteful. I suppose Repelling Blast makes the most sense right now. One with Shadows is good if you have Flight, but I don't have consistent access to that right now. As for spells, <laughs> do I even have to say any more? <laughs> And get get their ones for long rest misty stuff. I could change out Elish Puke for something, but like Fiend gets Fireball. But I think until I'm level seven, that's not worth because it's just regular Fireball. It's exactly as effective as if I just cast it from a scroll. Armor Shadows who plan on using Potent Robe. I have scrolls. I have scrolls. Gave me both my spell slots back. That's kind of neat, actually. I 
level 9, you can finally get an ass leaf. Pog. So, all my spells are cast at 3rd level. So my Scorching Ray is now 4 rays. That's pretty good. I wonder if going... Okay, no, I didn't take command. Uh, do I really want to go for that from boss? Maybe, because it'd be funny. So we don't do this right now. Once I have my spell slots back, we can go uh, rescue house. And Optimally, we let the guards in. We can deal with those. Agathus is now up to 15 HP and 15 damage. Or, uh, yeah, yeah. That's actually really crazy at this point. Like, most things will one-shot themselves, because call the weak. Just, I don't have DR to maintain it effectively yet. Oh, Zerga was. I was just thinking about it. If I wait until Zerga's like. chilling over here, maybe get some pre clear. Oh, I can just do that after these three are dead as well. Do you think the dwarf is ready yet? I'm hungry. Also, yeah, my, my witch bolt with Luck of the Far Arms on a max roll. Wet enemy. You're all boring. Uh, it's now a lot of damage. A, a lot, a lot. Eyes. Again, do you want to become spider food? Proceeding. Arrested for a it's warlock things. Crazy spell. Okay, you'll take damage to start of your turn. Leap finger jump to go over here. Blast him. No time to waste.
doesn't seem to know that he's dead. Slayer Halson back at it. His natural habitat. Gonna dash in place. Oh. I didn't, uh, hmm. there, fine. Is it fine? Taking position. Hey, third monkey. Grass and the barbarian went. Thank you. Thank you. It was a lot of fun. And else get alerted. Just three outside. It's just those three. I love Fleet Fingers boots of speed. It's way, such a crazy good thanks. combo. I am the it's so master. much mobility. It's insane. There goes the warring with the lock, and we just hit level five J Bridge, so now we now we can start cooking.
How is this possible? Stop. That must be where these enchant. I had no idea. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the. I, I cannot allow these butchers to threaten. They are the ones holding these parasites together. There is no safety, Mason. Yeah, the, the tech we picked up at level 5 is uh, basically we have, we have extra attack, um, our pack weapon. Uh, our Eldritch Blast is now two beams. Picked up an extra invocation, um, which I use to get knockback on my Eldritch Blast. Um, Hunger of Hadar, uh, which is one of the select spells that... Um, does not consume your action when you use it to get a surprise round. And also, it's an insanely powerful area control spell. Um, the way Warlock spell yeah, slots work is you again. only get two. Let's have a look. Well, you start out with one, then most of the levels you have two, and then very briefly you can have three, very late in the game. Uh, but they are always cast at the maximum of spell casting level you could have at that point. So, both of my spells are level three. So every Scorching Ray I use has four rays, for example. Every Witch Bolt I do is um, 3d12. Level 5 is a huge power spike. Uh, today I learned Fleet Fingers works with boots of speed. Sounds so good. It's incredible because Fleet Fingers jump doesn't cost any movement, monkey. It's just a you just go. You just go. <laughs> you don't need to have any movement for it to, to work. Unlike a regular jump. Still waiting for the scorching rays, hot sauce. I'd eat it. Worth examining. Indolence breeds madness. Open up. Without delay. Open up. Oh, so we need to start stockpiling bombs now. Uh, resting should give us the Mizora cutscene. Or, um, Odin Robe. While I still have the strength potion, I want to wait here to see if Zerga will patrol back here again and throw her in the pit for free. How about I start following you, eh? How'd you like that? Gale Hand would be OP if you didn't give a Gale pouch for it. <laughs> what does Gale pouch taste like? Alright, that sounds like. weirdly dirty like an alarming amount all right buddy someone. Only the guards are allowed to do that, as this one is about to demonstrate.
They believe you. Not throw deep enough. It's the downside of um, throwing people in turn base. They'll land and they'll still be able to talk because time's frozen and they won't fall further before the kill effect triggers. So if you're going to throw people into pits, do not do it in turn base mode. Hard to believe picking someone up doesn't trigger an alert. We're kind of waiting for that to be changed. Because, yeah, the abduction strats you can do with the revised melee weapon are pretty crazy. There's Zerga. It's one of those things like the, the multi-explosion bombs that be prepared for that to suddenly change in like a major update. Major update. Zerga's going to Minthara now. <gasps> Be careful, there are goblins in there. What are they, what are they goblin? How many raiders do we have? Plenty of lashes, loads of hunters. And a few pariahs to carry the powder kegs. These pariahs, they're prepared to fight for the absolute. What they do ain't exactly fighting. Only got to do is light up their powder and burn. Thank you for taking the bait there. I was setting it up, and no one seemed to want to take advantage. Dying's the only thing they're good at. Raiders are just waiting for the word, mistress. We're ready for anything. And the prisoner? We're still working on him. It's fun to play this like Metal Gear. What's with those goblin children? Never thought of that, but uh, it makes some sense. Yeah, Zerga's got a long patrol path. Oh, wait. I know for a fact she comes over here. you've set up enough chests and stuff, you keep them from patrolling to the area with Minthara. Probably could. But like, if you if you take out the bridge, Zerga will just jump across like nothing's wrong. It's, it's pretty funny. They just won't even question why the bridge is gone. Oh, here we go. It's go time. rubber band you back into my hand. It's fine.
Oh, I did that in Moon Rise, the room with the stairs in the prison, completely shut off access to three doors, enemies would have to funnel through that way. Between turns, I could just click the stairs and drop combat. Yep, very efficient strat. I will be heard. Need something? This is really low AC for a heavy armor. This is a plus two heavy armor with trash AC. Odd. What are you doing? Yeah, you. Good deal. Monster Slayer Glaive is actually a better weapon than I gave it credit for. It's just expensive for the number of things it would be relevant on. And it rings in mail, what do you expect? Eh, fair. So that's the goblin who uh, ruins the vibes at the Grove Defense. <laughs> uh, Zerga, Scrut, and a couple of other named goblins from the uh, Grove Defense are walking around here and you can kill them. I like doing that. We've thinned out a bit of the goblin forces. We did kill Crusher. Those three goblin kids disappear from the game, but like they're also not worth XP because Larian knows exactly exactly how the player base thinks you looking to spend it I like doomhammer I'm unlikely to use it but it's not that expensive But what happens if you bind a returning weapon with the Warlock Pact? I know you can't, like, throw a Warlock Pact weapon normally, but what happens if you do that? Now we get bombs. 
And as we can. He is cataloging quantum and fertility rituals. Welcome back. I do enjoy a good bargain. If hey, anything though. in my private collection is to your liking. I do want a fireball scroll here. I still have one. Okay. Should have a thunder wave. No point in lingering now, I've got the noble stock. Bomb Dareth, I mean, it's more than none. Mass healing word, maybe not the worst, because I could heal up the meat shields, I mean tieflings. I need to check. I guess I could check Aaron. Wouldn't have. Oh, I could check Zero. Yeah. As long as I don't talk to Anders, we'll be fine. Do this convo, then we rest. I could actually just improvise melee weapon her up to the roof and then throw her off of there. That doesn't have to be done right now. Consider me intrigued. I'm still looking to shift some supplies. Don't have much to spare, but it's more than we can carry. So this should be Mizora showing up now. Help. You haven't introduced Hi, mommy. me to your friend. More to the point. You obeyed. Infernal Road. 
which Infernal Robe plus Mage Armor is the same AC as uh, Luminous Armor. But I will most likely be using instead um, Gloves of Archery, BD Light Feet. So, I won't be concentrating on Expeditious Retreat, will I? No, I'd be going Sparkle Hands. Boots of Speed, which would allow me to... That's something I have to worry about yet. Cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Oh, you just have greater invis? Okay. Sure. I'll happily store those up. Routing tentacles just yet. I. It's difficult for me to talk about. I'm sorry. Get her to reveal that later. Something the matter. We've been through quite a lot with. And since then, you've seemed reliable. Maybe I. If we're truly death. I suppose we. There's someone waiting for me there. Thank you. And you're right. It's... I never expected Ceramorphosis to be temp... It's been known to happen. I know. I don't understand how, exactly. It's not the sort of thing I can just... The best I can do is to stay close. Bide my... I don't know what you mean. It's nothing. Really. Now I have this one. DC 18. Yeah. You're not going to let. <laughs> now that you have the truth, please don't make a big. F True. I didn't think you'd react so. Or I assume you've heard of her. My lady Shah is the knight, but we shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand below. There's often suffering, death, even. Many people break. Kiri, I think I did well by joining you. You already know my biggest secret. Well, I like Night Orchid. It's a deal. I mean, if I manage... Speedrunning being friends with Shark. It is an act of... Fine. I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite Yeah, you can get so much approval with her just clicking the right things without ever having her in your party. Damn it all. I'd not. Karlak showed us the truth. It, but, oh, so I thought. Until Karlak. Uh, but I don't have a clue where to start. Uh, the, the only way out is if I can. We can. Okay. Now we're good to rest. Ideally, in the morning, Scratch has his ball. You're desperate to be rid of it. Under the parasites are merely a symptom of a. Were it not for my protection, we. Health. 
Concealed the truth. Numbered now. I think potion wore off, but only barely. surgery. I keep him as a vendor. Uh, quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I can have that this early? Holy shit. Under minor elemental for growth defense would be insanely good. Put all these in the bag. Don't have to decide yet. Up here, have anything to say? No, okay. I don't have shield of thralls, not something I planned. I just kind of forgot that I really like having it, and I uh, grabbed call the week. Fine, whatever. Welcome back. Have you? I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. Start with the two greater invis, okay. Yes, sir. I could use a mage hand to throw a haste spore grenade at me for our defense. I like that idea a lot. Really, no point in lingering now I've got the noble stock. No lethargic from that. Then the mage hand itself could go into the cloud and throw something else I have at my feet. It would also increase its movement to get it to position well. bombs as I would like, though. Did I check scratch? I think I did. Maybe next rest. do the shadow druids thing um i already have deception and intimidation efficiency
do that. Um, that'll free us up to be able to respec to refresh inventory so we can take the druid level to get pale oak to sell fund all the bombs we're gonna want and once we're back in the full warlock spec after a second respec cycle I could then do the mountain pass gift And after that, talk to Minthara, do Grove Defense? That's the plan. You think yourself quite this? House! You, you, Oliden! The choice, as you say, Oliden. <laughs> no! Kogo's voice breaks and her lips tremble. She heard reason in your words. Not easy five, I passed enough of those. Cool. Lucky, too, because. With all those, all those bonuses and the proficiency from astral knowledge, I still only managed a nine. Kulga, I the forest in the tower. When Silver, oh, careful! I you would. Qu and I saved Fendal, so he's an ally in this fight. seeing that 95%. Shit, Kaga. Good shit, Shovel. Thank you, Fendel. Actually doing your job. Crap, 
Wrath no hold person? Oh, well, I guess there's no people to hold now that I think about it. Double crit miss, really? Why do I do anything without advantage? I should have put a darkness arrow at my feet, so I have an advantage. Good luck, shovel. What up, Kaga? Walking into your own moonbeam. I'm proud of you. I love when they wild shape to make their hitbox big enough to just immediately lose it to the moonbeam. It's actually a pretty good tactic. If you have Moonbeam, just put it next to them so they'll be like, oh, I'm safe, and they'll just make themselves big enough to eat the hit. Run the DLC thing so convenient is to ignore your backlog? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Respec. And we. Dost thou require as. Pick up a druid level after the warlock one, of course. This will do. Okay, it's still a packed weapon. Just. We must speak. If it's an argument you seek, you won't find it here. Wrath, you take our gift and be known. My fate lies with. Meanwhile, oh, well, I won't forget the wounds. Pale oak, which is a pretty good sale price. That's why we went out of our way to grab that level. We've assigned all the levels to refresh Darius inventory. No point in lingering now I've got the noble stock. Um we then respec again. Faith Warden or something. Yeah, the only two uses for it that I know of, uh, one, the noble background gets an inspiration for getting a title. There's a few different ones you can get, but that's one of them. The other one is you'll have some dialogue with Jahira that doesn't go anywhere when you first meet her in Last Light. I don't know if Faith Warden coming up anywhere else.
With no point in lingering now, I've got the noble stock. No point in lingering now, I've got the noble stock. Here. I guess come to think of it, shatter from a warlock slot isn't the worst thing. At higher levels. Because it's upcast, so. Not terrible for Scar anyway. Oh yeah. Oh. I'm gonna take command over Expeditious Retreat, I think. Hope for scrolls. Will be no point in lingering now. I've got the noble stock. You know that there's no point in lingering now that she's got the noble stock. that then Welcome back. I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection he is too might have liking. too high level inventory to consistently have expeditious retreat. No, I should have done that at the lower levels. That's okay. We camp out in front of Blurg on our resets, getting our levels back. That's what we'll do. Forgot I still have this many target arrow that I got at level two. I clicked that with Titan String Bow, actually. Hang on. Brace? Kill Giant Strength Pot. There are many targets from a Poison Titan String Bow would go incredibly hard in the Grove Defense. Not as good as bombs, but be pretty fucking good. to hear someone pronounce uh, whinging in this game. Never seen that word outside some other recent games. Quite the 
cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Wall of fire for grove defense. Hmm. I'm so tempted. There's so many daggers to throw them. The more I have, the less I need to worry about uh, picking them back up after I throw them. It means if I'm, say, in a really advantageous high place, throwing daggers down at people, I can just keep doing that until they're dead. Refunded this game after my first playthrough because nobody said my favorite word. Char charcuterie. Shadows, taking my cue. Or as Moo Girl would say, a shark coochie board. As expected. Or daggers better than Eldritch Blast. Situationally it can be. Or mayhaps a resurrect as They have, you know, lunchables, they mustard. Um, they have different travel arcs, right? Like, throwing things, they arc. So, there are situations where I can throw, uh, because that is allowed, but I don't have line of sight directly from me to them for Eldritch Blast, so that's not. Um, also, throwing counts as unarmed damage for the purposes of a few different effects, mostly things in the glove slot, so like uh, Flawed Helldust Gloves, Chance to Apply Bleed, Sparkle Hands giving you lightning charges. Those are things I can do by throwing daggers that I can't with Eldritch Blast. So it's a situational thing. I haven't really had to do it, but it's something I like to be prepared to do. Going throwing down to things. Neither do daggers. They're not heavy enough. Welcome back. Uh, but that's Have you, often a good thing because if something uh, dies to that crushing damage, you don't get XP for it. Is to your liking. Very well. Quickly then. No point in lingering now I've got the noble stock. I think I'm good on bombs now. Well, I could always have more, but for now. For now. Uh, I forgot to check Lola. Check him first. Before I start assigning more levels. The last time Crushing damage the only part that gets increased from height on the actual hit. Yeah. Uh, quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I guess I check Aaron now too. I need expeditious retreat. I'd rather not cast it, but I did take it this time. I can use that for speedy light feet, bomb strats, and I'm definitely going to want to do that.
Curiosity is Albert leap different. Don't remember anyone who mentioned from Force Sand who launched the XP. Need anything else? Of course. Uh, I have no idea remember. if it's different or not. You're not the only one in need. Could be. Might not be. I'm unsure. I pro Twitch sucks. Been finding so many of my streamers, my recommended set of my follow channels. Then fix that on follow, refollow, Twitch, fix your shit. Oh, I'm sorry, Wales. No, I've been I've been grinding. Uh, I've still been here. I guess Twitch was like, no, you're not allowed to watch. been well though. Uh, I'll check Damon just because I got his attitude up, so if he has like I don't imagine what I can't imagine what he would have, but maybe he has something that I care to use. So I should Drop a darkness arrow and steal this breastplate. One piercing DR. Until I get a source of radiant damage, that's going to be better than, uh, Quickly then. Strictly better than Luminous Armor. Glass double sight A command. Welcome back. Have you made? I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. Very well. I wasn't going to buy more bombs, but I need more. Because I need some for the spectator, I need some for the Gith and Cultists out front of the monastery. I should probably have a couple for Elminster, just in case. Um, one for the Grove Defense. Probably have a couple for Draglin. Bombs. Thank you for the one year resub. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Helps me out immensely. Appreciate you. Hope you continue to enjoy all the perks and whatnot. Or, well, enjoy them because Twitch wasn't letting you know that I was here. But I'm still here. And I'm glad you are too. She's just a girl and she's on fire. There you go, Quack. A whole year. No point in lingering now, I've got the noble stock. Bombs? Open there. Sure. Weird of you, but okay. Better wait till the hubbubs die down. Bolt. 
minor illusion. Start today was pretty shit for me. I just got home with uh, gyro fries and couldn't be more happy about it. They're so good. Good food can really turn around your day. Will be no point in lingering now. I've got the noble stock. Well, that's improvement gauge. Okay. Um, yeah, I took Repelling Blast before. Forest would take longer. Our Fiend Warlocks get access to Fireball from their spell list, but until it's upcast, that's not worth over just using a scroll, provided you have the resources. So I'm gonna elect not to grab that. No point in lingering now, I've got the noble stock. This'll do wonders for the shop. Now that that's taken care of. Means rest. Um. Baretha and squad. Now I could do this after growth defense, but no reason not to do it now. Um, I can actually do this first.
No, of no, our queen. My kin wield their spears for mid. We're in, I've not tried to pull this bullshit before, territory. This is unintelligent. Need y'all to know. Yes, you're trying. It is not worth going for Silver Sword at the Astral Plane in an honor run. I'm doing it anyway. Maybe. You know, I want to use it for Zathisk, so. What? <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> that's not how that's supposed to go. <laughs> no time to waste. All right. See if they pick their weapons back up. Good enough. That looks like Beretha did. It's fine. I need them grouped up. I should be able to use Minor Illusion for that. Absolutely insane that that worked. Like, I've. Uh... In theory, if you reset to get a low port and die as a divination wizard, you can force the command drop. Yeah, you could also just rush there, like, really fast on every reset. Because 16% chance <laughs> was not high. You could have a higher chance than that on a level 1 character if you build properly. Yeah.
need them I need them to group up the ideas to hunger of Hadar and then start chucking bombs. With every breath a purpose. Oh, they are grouped. Keep rebounding your weapon. Yeah, I'm switching. Three bombs. Three bombs. Extremely fucking well. Objective noted. I'm glad the game didn't let me short rest there either. Enough time wasted. Battle awaits. Save. I I guess I'll use it. It's an okay item. I will definitely be replacing it pretty quickly later, but now is not later. Kind of funny that since you're playing as Lazel, you can make her do stuff she just absolutely not do normally. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is pretty funny. I have no use for Beretta's sword now, even though it's a goaded item for... You, know, you can reasonably get Beretta's sword. What I just did is not reasonable. And lays hell. <laughs> Being lays hell and telling Black it to fuck off. <laughs> yeah, that's that's insane. That that worked. I need to save that clip too. Yeah, that's that's wild. I'm still kind of stunlocked by that. Will we take those. Let's have psychic resist. I forgot that it gives that. So that's actually a good weapon to have for Warg as a near. 
and Karnas. Suppose this is the only way to get both the boss's weapons. Yeah. Yeah, it is. You used to be able to buy whichever one he didn't have equipped. And then he would give you the other one, but they changed that. There's also charm immunity. Wait, I can use this for harpies. Yeah, 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 same page, Mustard. I haven't done that yet. So how we killed Yankee and Voss. We didn't kill Voss. We succeeded a 16% chance command drop <laughs> and got the Silver Sword of the Astral Plane. And, and then we Hunger of Hadar. Well, then we fled combat, then we had Shovel get a surprise round. Hunger of Hadar through three bombs. Onward. Go level 10 crash, you can have Psyker resistant great old one. True, true. Packed weapon bombs. Uh, yeah, so as long as you have your packed weapon bound and equipped, you can still get uh, extra attack and throwables. So, yeah, I, I threw two, got a kill, bloodlust threw a third one. Go get Ring of Protection now, I guess. That was pretty broken. It's just regular extra attack. Gage. Warlock gets it in the same level everyone not named Bard does. Just specific to one subclass. Like, two Bard subclasses get extra attack, one Warlock subclass gets extra attack, and then all the other classes that get it, it's a base class feature. Um, the balancing factor with, with Warlocks is that you you can't uh, make a boa packed weapon, and also you can't like throw your packed weapon. I mean, it doesn't sound broken. You know, fair enough. Throwing three bombs is uh, enough to kill most things in the game with proper setup. So, you ain't wrong. And bro, delicious. Haven't had one like a year or two. That sound amazing. Oh, I didn't pull the fucking thing, did I? He stares right past you as you turn back. The child slips between the rocks. Succeed the checks. It's, it's easy, Lazel. Succeed. It's easy. Hey, that's XP. Huh. Accidental XP discovery. I had a feeling you'd be back. Anything else? You've been a friend. A trade silly spreadsheet didn't include that. Haha, <laughs> nerd.
kidding, I'd be surprised it wasn't there. Same. So now we've got a few options. Um, what we should do is tell Minthara about the grove location. And then rest again. And then defend the grove. Got in there only because I didn't have the mask of <laughs> the cheater to shapeshift. Bro, you could have just been trickery domain or something. Just have the spell. Yeah, I think we inform Mandara of the growth location. Yeah. Check Rogue Moon Glow's inventory first. I don't think I tried a non-lethal Minthara. Like, if the opportunity presents itself, maybe, but, like, she's got hold person and shit, uh, she, she gotta die. Need something. Also, maybe that's just justice for <laughs> the epilogue in our, our previous run. I was gonna say no to protection from energy, and then I remembered that, uh, pretty good against ooze. by Minthar after she old person's use sounds like a great time. <laughs> Don't see the problem. I mean, yes, but, but we gotta flex this shit for longer, you know? <laughs> Mr. Quag's about to get his nutsack folded into a balloon animal from Minthara. Threaten me with a good time. Somebody with old person me, all. Hugs for everybody. You sell dust fuel in a few hours. You're right. I don't like that you're right. Uh, I, I don't care that you're right, but you are right. Speak, true soul. The hunt must begin soon. You are sure? And how... Her tiefling faces flicker into... If go to their refuge and make your way inside. I don't have the most trustworthy face. Damn. Uh... They're half-devil refugees. Nobody wants them. No, Minthar is A racist too. No! If nothing else is offered. I... Why is everybody racist? We will be the first... Um, 
are the Raiders. It is yes, your leadership. Could they we won't let you down. Hey, Madral, that's racist? Yeah, I... It's new. Could she get any better? Stop it, Buster. So, do I go talk to Halson now? We talked to Zevlor actually. She doesn't call him foul blood, so already better than never at the grove. Well, they're not even half devils though. That's not accurate either. Does she say that's racist? She said, they're half devils. Nobody wants them. Like, oh. Okay. Maybe that's why she's so into Carlac. Maybe it's some some Racial fetish fetishization. Oh no. Oh no. I'm reading too much into it now. Oh no. Just so. Cease this thought trade before it goes off the rails. <laughs> I'm told the druid. <laughs> you don't know the difference between Cambion and Tiefling as in half versus plain touch, right? Minty, a tiefling realist. Oof. Oh, maybe I will investigate the music. RNG manipulate to get a 16% command drop to avoid respecting the archfey. <laughs> or usually use Lump's Horn, it's too risky to get on honor. I never end up actually using it for fights. It's it's a backup strat in case shit goes the worst possible way at like the Grove defense. Remnant DLC coming soon, you plan on streaming that? I don't know if I'm going to stream it, I'm definitely going to play it. I don't know if I'm going to break the BG3 streak for that, but I'm definitely playing it.
I'm immune, baby. I don't really care if Markon lives here. That's maybe a little cool, but... Ogres were bugged the last two times I tried to summon. Maybe no backup at all. Ooh. is if I speed pot. I think I do. Pop one of these as well. Mr. Glenn, thank you for the 45 months and the tier 2. Oh, really? Immediately lost concentration. And you crit me. Sure. Of course you fucking did. She's just a girl and she's on fire. There you go, Quack. Okay, little brother. Hurricane. My little brother. We even saved Murkon. Our Hadar concentration instantly fucking broke. That wasn't great. Uh, are they gone? No. Yes. One of the reasons uh, I do really like Dark Justiciar Half Plate advantage on Constitution, on top of the advantage on Stealth and the good AC and the DR 
a damage retort. The really good armor. His eyes flicker to your... Want to talk? You've been a f yeah, no XP for that, but um. last chance I have to check this guy's inventory. Guess I should check it. I got stuff. If you got coins. I care about the returning pike. Not really. Oh yeah, I should figure out a way to kill Abdurak on this route. Uh, killing him or getting his XP on Grove Defense route seems a little hard. I guess you would knock him out when he's by himself before moving these guys over. That'd be the way. It's not really a huge deal. It's just his weapon you lose out on, really. I didn't check to see if this is in a usable state, it should be. I feel about Warcaster for Warlock Beats. Um, I think it's easy enough to get advantage on Constitution elsewhere that I kind of resist it. Um, it's good if you want that Opportunity Shock and Grasp on top of that. But I personally think that there's better feats. Like, I'd much rather, if I don't already have medium armor proficiency, I'd much rather get moderately armored, because that's medium armor, that's shield, and it's one point to dex or strength. That's a lot of value for one feat. Um, and then, of course, you know, there's dual wielder, great weapon master, uh, even sharpshooter for offhand crossbow stuff if you want it. Spell sniper... Magic Initiate. There's just a lot. Feel the same? Yeah. Traveling to Moonrise is no small tactic. Any who linger are twisted by long. If you can find this place already, <laughs> if only I'd gone with you instead of anything is preferable to risking the shadow curse. I, I, it, but the grove must come first, I'm afraid. Now, May Sylvan. Where did he just go? He went to the grove. Hey Alice, how you doing?
true way. More goblins. What's next? This is uh, going to give me a chance to rest, right? So let's save. Let's make the first backup this run. What's next? In case some weird logic happens and I want to practice before we reset. <laughs> and went rat mode. That's where, where he was off to. Rare house and W. Talk to you, Gail. I'm not gonna. He's fucking too damaged. Eat. 
Это. earlier. Horn isn't going to replace my temp HP, is it? Hope not. What happened? We've seen the massing in the wood. We threw them back once. If you, we'll blow the horn to draw them in, and you make what. Pre An efficient path. Into his Wait, so mage hands can't breathe, but they can drink. Interesting. I forgot to leave the feather ball. It's fine. Get back how we get here. Tell Mithar to help him attack the road betrayer, fight off goblins. Yep, that's exactly what we're doing.
You're not in combat. You're still not in combat. Now you go. Swift and lethal. Um, now that group would be wise. The spiders, though. Spiders are what's really scary. Spiders in the blast radius there. We'll find out. It was not. Okay. Soul branding, which means you can't misty stuff. If Skelly gets a speed pot. Very good. Jump up. Hey, okay, we're after our <laughs> Move that barrel to a configuration where it won't be screwy. I don't think I try. Forgot to put throwables on the ground for uh, Mage Hand to, to use. Give it that. Hey, son. Reacting together. Come on, Elegus. There you go, Asherak. Arca missed that one. Arca's probably gonna die. Don't need to waste that yet. to move. Get some damage on my view. 
pretty fucking far. Sixty-five. Don't love that. Guess we hope this doesn't kill Arca. Mm -hmm. Like that oil barrel to stay. really don't want to use a bomb there. I didn't buy magic missile scrolls, which is uh, very unintelligent of me. Did I replace that shatter scroll? No. Looking for ranged guaranteed damage that won't kill Arca. Or blow up the, the oil barrel right there. And I didn't really bring... that. I'm burning a small slot. Looking to see if there's a repelling blast angle that works well here. used your attacks. Get a hit on you, maybe we can... Or, uh, do more support stuff. Ooh, you're asleep. That's good, actually. Oh, Misty stuff. Good, good, good. Dash Soul Brain is a shitload of movement. I went for the, the wake up. Forgot to fucking drop bombs for me to throw again. It's fine though. You can do that, no. There are bombs over here. Movement. There's nothing to throw them at over here though.
Where are you going, Zevlor? Mm. Ogre's hurt. They at least have bludgeoning ball. But that's why we gave it the temp HP. The haste war cloud's still there. It is. back. I messed up by not uh, having jump potions. roundabout way of doing things. Is all? What are you doing? I definitely didn't want you to do that. Okay. No longer on fire, but I'm now next to a fucking oil barrel. I'll say for a while we're doing grove defense. Yeah, that's what raiding the grove looks like. No, it's what defending the grove from the raid looks like. Seventh, all right, yeah, I did. Everyone, I see so ridiculous, uh, mirror image. Level you all doing this defense? I'm level 5 currently. Yeah, 
yes, I had my mage hand drink a sweet pot. Crush damage. Grr. Rip XP. How does a hand drink? I don't know, but it can't breathe. It can't breathe in haste spores, but it can drink speed potions. Just want to get several. Having several mage hands early on, just throwing dagger stuff's very good. Yeah, definitely. Zevlor just jumped. Had, yeah, I was like, where? Where did Zevlor jump to? Exactly. That was, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's always lethargic right now. Like, Part of me wants to jump in and not lethal Mandara. Is the haste force still there? She died. Lightning charge burst. <laughs> it might be useful. I tried. Yeah, my I should have taken off my boots. We could have uh we could have not legal there if I'd taken off my boots. No shot with Thara, so we recruited one. That's exactly how I recruited her uh, last run. Or not last run. Uh, attempt before. You can knock her out here, and uh, you're good. You're gaming. You're chilling. She wants to dissect you. She's brainwashed. She's not currently in control of her actions. Now, a lot of the things she's doing, such as war crimes, those are things she would normally do. But it's not her choosing to do them. her character is uh she is so damaged by that loss of agency that she'll do anything to get revenge about it not real for that raspberries and
open up. In terms of friendlies, only Arca died. Did lose out on the XP from that bugbear because crush damage, but. An armor that gives you advantage on constitution. That is one of the reasons Warcaster, I think. <laughs> so you can just wear this, right? Sure, it doesn't have the best AC, but plenty of ways of getting AC. sleeping i've been playing it um well we succeeded a 16 percent chance command drop on kithrag boss and got the silver sword of the astral plane so that was cool It's, it's a weapon that it loses its luster after... Yeah, thank you, Sora. It loses its luster after you get access to the other maps, but it's pretty funny in, in the Act 1 map. Do not attack you. So Voss teleports away. Voss doesn't fight you there unless you, like, manage to get the dragon to attack you specifically. Requires some very specific tech. Um, the Voss doesn't fight you. Um, but he'll teleport away after he's dropped his weapon. We can grab the weapon. We can even kill Voss later now for his other weapon if we have a mind to. But you've solved both those problems as a ma of course. Go. Uh, I fled combat, and then I went back, waited for them to group up, got a surprise round with a shovel, and I clicked Hunger of Hadar, and then I threw three bombs, and they were all dead. Uh, Shovel's greatest feature is that you can just invis like a Dwergar on demand. Um, so my favorite use of Shovel is just getting surprise rounds. If you have Shovel with a Vigilance Elixir, she'll out initiative basically most things, at which point you can come in and engage against the surprise enemies. So as you say... And so it is done, Master. A misjudgment. A misjudgment. One that should weigh heavily upon her. Speak to Wrath. He will take. Healing can begin. So that guy's there. Take him there. 
Do I need the house and XP? It'd be so cathartic to knock him out. I don't, I don't need to do that. Walk around first, okay. Consider me intrigued. Alas, time for chat time. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins. Forgive me. Yeah, I already stole the reward from Wrath. I could drag him onto the elevator. Take the elevator up. There's Tiefling up there. Zalfira is still chilling here? No, right? I guess killing this guy. Something that's gonna have to happen. sure this is clear up here. So I, I could use right here. Send you a dumb fuck in over here. Alright, I need Cloud Giant to improvise melee him. Have that. Oh no 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 no! I just need regular, regular hill giants. No. He's he's seventy five kilograms. He's not a hundred. Yeah, half orcs are heavier. I lure him well's performance. Repositioning. Got a quest update. Unseen. 
Huh? Fine, doesn't matter. He's not... I didn't get XP, though. I got that, too? Okay. We're good now. 150 XP, and Allison's gonna have a black eye for a while. That's called catharsis. I'll oh, we'll buy some darkness arrows from Damon before he moves on. Did you kill Allison? I didn't. I knocked him out. 150 XP. He'll be fine in the morning. Saved us. I wish I had better, but this is all I have. Got more fire arrows. We'll make it work, though. Made time more. I miss my forge. I will take my pick. It's aired, and that is the key to this. I haven't dug up this corpse yet. clearing out the goblin camp. Alright, drawer Axelin and everyone will still be there after a rest. Baldi wrong. We're ready to head to your camp. Are you? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get after it. Excellent. But I do sometimes. Will's having his sad boy hours over there. That's the replacement for Icaron, because I killed the shit out of Icaron. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Me? I know the answer is refugees, but me? Your words, not mine. But not what I mean. I mean, desperate people. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Something like, but they'll be. Share a bottle with me? We should wait a little while. Not tonight. Yeah, we're doing the Chart Lazel romance. We're doing it. It's basically canon already, right? 
bed and a roof for me. But off you go. Buzz of celebration quite. Though you see, there is one who yearns for your heart skips a beat. She's wearing the will fit. You made it. Lazelle's wearing the Come shark here. fit. Sit with me. Do you have mine? Besides the bottle, that is. That's very Lazelle to say. Well, to begin, I think a toast is in order. You see. Any suggestions? Victory. That's very Lazelle. Dominant, self-centered, savoring another's loss. I like it. To victory. Yeah, they 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 fit. Now tell they me work. something about yourself. And no tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins, or anything like that. Something about you. Lower your guard and describe the desolate beauty of your home. Crush Kalir. Merciless, but beautiful in its own way. Sounds familiar. I can see the blush. Don't stop practically. now. <laughs> Not just as things are getting interesting. Sounds like you just need a little more liquid inspiration. There's still plenty of wine, and the whole night is ahead of us. Nearly light. The others will be awake soon. Customer did Monday know some of vacation called the nail shop cleaning wasn't there. Hmm. There's a specific time when Shart will try to kill Lazel. Shart never tries to kill Lazel. It's the opposite. What? For legal purposes, no, you should not murder your disgruntled, annoying, stupid customers, even though they're stupid and annoying. I know. But you're sweet to notice. Thank you for last night. Me too. She trails off. You read an invitation in her eyes. The long rest of the top of Lazelle holds a knife to her throat. Uh, because what's happening there is Lazelle is picking a fight. And then you seemingly defuse it. And then Shart's like, okay, this isn't going to be subtle. So then she gets up in the middle of the night and does that. Because I'm Lazelle, that fight is never going to get picked, so that dialogue's not going to happen. Basically, Lazelle starts it. If you want something, I think you should take it. She was going right for the booba. <laughs> that, that camera angle. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking shit eating grin while reaching for it too. That didn't hurt, did it? <laughs> it was worth it. I should think so. Let's head back. If we must. Hey man, I respect. We even got XP. No house conversation. <laughs> He's where where is he? Alson, buddy. Where's uh where where is he at?
something specific trigger that fight. Eh, just resting enough times. And there will probably show up when you go to the mountain pass. Okay, I'm looking to see if he's over here for some reason. But yeah, here he is. He, he just won't talk. <laughs> no? No? Okay. Um... Let me start clearing out Goblin Camp now. First, let's actually talk to quickly. Then talk to Shard. Matters need attending. All's well, I hope. No, hand kissed. I can't recall the last time I shared so much with someone. So wholesome. Maybe I never did before. It meant a lot to me. You mean a lot to me. And that was before the kiss. But that night meant a lot to me, and I hope there's more to come. I hope so too. Is that outfit? Well, Though yeah, I'm not sure she what does. Kind of courtship will be afforded. Will is the only one who looks bad in his clothes. But if you want to see where this goes, I do as well. of all those guns in the right now. Quite the cozy setup you have. Doesn't look bad in anything actually. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you. So Will has a sense of style to him, but his camp clothes are not it. I will die on this hill. Will's got I don't know, there's something to him where I'm like, all right. It's it's Unspoken Riz, which makes sense. He's a warlock. He needs charisma. Will 99% of the time Riz Lord. When he dances behind you, that's the 1%. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. yep. Mizora pick Will's clothes just to fuck with them. Don't surprise me. So we. We shapeshift. To something small. of the small. I like having that extra HP buffer, so we'll keep that. Come. 
Siege Armor Scroll. Level, what's your AC? 18 AC shovel is a funny idea. Do that. Indolence breeds madness. Actually, I can't shapeshift to turn off Fury of the Small if I want to keep the bonuses of my sword. HP buffer. And we'll get temp HP from Baldoss and Fiend. It'll it'll be okay. Zorg pick me up. I want uppies. I want a minor illusion to group them up. Shit, the goblins will be out for blood after what happened at the grove. Best to stay clear or be ready for a fight. Get some jump potions, man.
didn't group them up quite right. That's okay. I am fury. I am death. Thank you so much for the two months. I appreciate it. It was a long way. Thank you so much. So one of them is probably going to summon a war companion. 18 AC shovel. That's a crit miss, doesn't matter anyway. No, it's fine. I'll just take the opportunity attack here. Okay. So they come out of more HP because Dark One's blessing. There. go as stylishly as I wanted it to, but oh well. I'd like to group them up as much as possible with Minor Illusion and then get a Hunger of Hadar in there. I think I can do with clever use of Darkness Clouds. Ah, oh, the Albert Cup's still here. Fuck.
no time to waste. Time to waste. Ah! 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 I get the silver sword. <laughs> Insane streamer luck. Yeah, I don't have my extra attack there because I didn't attack with my weapon to trigger extra attack to use on the throw. Are like Cloud of Daggers damage on cast each time so I turn it. It's uh it's like Cloud of Daggers and Moonbeam got together. It's a creature that isn't me. And it's damage at start of turn, damage at end of turn. small high ground the booyahs
there an angle where I can get you with Eldritch Blast? Also an area of darkness, yes, and difficult terrain. That affect the Casper too. Uh, I'm sure it does if I go in there, uh, but the the thing is, I have Devil Sight, so the darkness part doesn't get me. Uh, when I say it's a creature that isn't me, that means that uh, I'm not technically getting those kills. It's it's a summon. Like, if we scroll up... Hunger of Hadar, build Warrior Soul. Not me. But I still get the XP. funneling them like this because I can just put a new hunger of Hadar down and start uh, agonizing blasting them through it. They're also starting to line up for a pretty juicy lightning bolt. I have a lightning bolt scroll right. Ew. Consequences of that doesn't initiate combat. Uh, in theory, if I was doing a multi-class with Sanctuary, it wouldn't break Sanctuary, because it's not me doing it. Uh, it also means that damage riders from me, like Callus Glow, won't work on it because it wasn't me. So fucking fun. I'll need to replace that lightning bolt scroll, but that's fine. I didn't accidentally kill the owlbear cub, right? Yeah, we're good. Worth examining. Okay, he dropped the returning pike. Uh, getting the hide armor drop is pretty nice too. That's uh, plus one dex checks. 
plus one initiative. Use it for a few things before I get graceful claw. He's class two one twelve solo within your opinion, monk fighter, fighter. Now, College of Swords Bard is insane. But it's uh it's very rest heavy between levels three and five, and you don't get your extra attack till level six. So if you're not super profici proficient with the early game, it can feel like you're you're still ramping for a while. But there is no level where fighter doesn't feel powerful. And there's some power in simplicity. Like you you know what you're gonna do as fighter. You're gonna do some kind of attack roll. That's what you do. Um. So especially if you're you're not super confident, narrowing your options while still having those good options can be nice. But uh, fighter feels real good. Pro tip: don't play battle master. It's a shit subclass in this game. Um, but your choice of elder Schneider champion. Worth investing in for scrolls. Not generally. Because a lot of the, the scrolls you would be using are things where you don't really care too much about the outcome as long as it happens. Like, for example, Magic Missile. You still get the same number of Magic Missiles. It's still the guaranteed damage, so you get what you used it for. Um, or things you might care about the, the difficulty class of, you can still Arcane Acuity them. For things like Chain Lightning, you kind of truly don't care if they save or not, because even if they do, they're taking a ton of damage. Um, and then there's there's things like uh, aid scrolls, false life scrolls, where your int isn't a factor at all. Mirror image, blur, stuff. I think Sorcerer would be up there too. Every time I've used uh, Sorcerer 12 in honor mode, it's always a smooth ride. Uh, is, are you talking solo, Docs? Because I feel like Sorcerer solo has a pretty rough early game. Keep in mind, most of my perspective is going to be that of a solo player because uh, I don't play group stuff. Group honor is like, you can do whatever you're remotely comfortable with and it'll be fine. Um, but Sorcerer has a rough early game. Because your resources are super strapped. Like, you don't... At level 1, you're you're just kind of bouncing around. But we won't count level 1 for anyone. Level 2, okay, you're starting to get your meta magic. You've got your ritual spells, you're comfy. Um, level 3, you get your better meta magic, which is where your, your damage starts to really come in. Like, the thing is, you are choked by your sorcery points. Now you run out, you gotta rest. Until you get access to short rest potions, which is not until you have access to the Shadow Curse Lands. Um, and even then, it's a resource you have to make sure you either steal or purchase. Um, until that happens, you are very tight on resources, and you don't have the cantrip proficiency that, like, Warlock does, for example. Like, I don't have enough spells, my cantrip feel wimpy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, well-timed with that, Rando. It takes longer to get off the ground than any of the other casters, in my opinion. Like, Druid, Cleric, Wizard are good at every point. Warlock, once you get especially level 5, starts to feel crazy. Um, Bard, the big levels are 3, 5, and 6. I feel like Sorcerer has one of the, the harder starts. Sork Run took uh, level 3 and 4 in lock. Uh, Sorlock, yeah, popular combo. They have good things that complement each other, right? Warlock having those short rest spell slots, having the, the better cantrip options. A lot easier, makes sense to me.
Having access to a resource list, uh, scalable damage option is probably pretty nice too in Act 1. Yeah, for sure. Eldritch Blast holds up well the whole game, because level 5 it gets an extra beam. In the Shadow Curse lands, you get Potent Robe. Um, and you start getting more consistent sources of advantage. More levels for more feats for minus crit. Under Mountain King in the Mountain Pass for minus crit. And then at late Act 2, early Act 3, you get the third beam for Eldritch Blast. The problem is the game prioritizes the Sorcerer spell slots. You barely ever get the automatic upcasting of Warlock slots. Yeah, uh, I've seen a lot of Sorlocks for that reason. They just burn all of their Sorcerer spell slots as soon as possible, and they just play like a Warlock in terms of having just those couple of slots. Um, they just turn them all into Sorcery points so that they can do that. You wanna have a good one? Have a good one, Sora. Cleave crazy here. Do though. These will crit since they're asleep. Just use the abduction strats in combat to group people up for cleave. Nothing toxic. Oh, such a nasty combat. That was gross. I didn't need to use that speed pot. Oh. Warlock's so spicy. Look how many different things I did. A crazy multi target. Good melee. Hmm. And Draconic Armor buffs is nice. Yeah. Not sure it still works. Item Knack 3 Bank. Let's see. Unequip and re-equip. Free. Level 2 spell slot. Fallout. Limited sorcery points for 6 beams around. Yeah, the shield you can buy from Tally also does that. I try not to do that particular thing. Because you can already heavily abuse short rest potions to kind of achieve a similar effect in sort of a more... Like, a, a way that's like, oh, that's cheeky more than, oh, it says once for long rest and isn't doing that. Does that make sense? Change your stat distribution later? Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely going to. I will have more charisma. Or, um... Potent robe and agonizing blast purposes. Purple just doesn't want to come over. So. Yeah, I'll probably want to be at somewhere between 18 and 21 charisma, depending on what I end up doing Um, before the act finale. Yes, 21's possible, it just requires me doing something really stupid.
have to ASI up to 20. Or, you know, take feats up to 20. And then use the Ethel hair. And then not change my stat di distribution after that. The advantage of being at 21 there would be with the plus 5 buff um, from Char, I could be at 26 Charisma. Which would be um, a lot of agonizing blasts and gregarious caster bonuses on my eldritch blast which at that point in time would be three beam eldritch blast like i'm getting plus three right now so yeah i'd be getting plus eight so oh. lose the hair on respect you don't but the the reason why i would have to not change my distribution is because Ability score increase and a bunch of other items, they will boost you up to a certain number and not above it. So if you spec it in the other order, like let's say I had um, 19 charisma for whatever reason, then I take ability score increase. I could only take that up to 20. But if I had 18 charisma, take ability score increase, that puts me to 20. Then I could take ethyl hair to put me to 21. Because Ethel Hair doesn't cap at 20. 3d10 plus 48 seems like a solid cantrip. And then, of course, it's an attack roll, so it can crit. You know, pre pre pretty okay. Pretty okay damage. Technically, on a wizard, you could take that even further by being pure class wizard evocation school. Um, a level 10. Empowered evocation. So you'd be scaling it by int. Um, and Gregarious Caster on Potent Robe would still scale it by Charisma. You could then go, if you were somehow level 12 at this, this point in time, which level 12 at that point isn't possible, you could then get Agonizing Blasts back again you'd be scaling it up by your int modifier and then double your charisma modifier you could conceivably have um one e two intelligence a lot. If I group them up right here, I think I get them with the statue and the, uh, the drop. Unfortunate. It's okay. Get 
better stealth. Sacrifice the buff from Necromancy today for the guarantee plus two in the mirror loss. Too useful to try to succeed the check. Uh, when I do the mirror, yeah, I sacrifice the buff from the book because I usually have other sources of temp HP that I want to use, uh, and I never use Dance Macabre because it's it's a wild card, right? Like those ghouls, you can't control them. They have bad movement, and also they explode for friendly fire damage too. So I I usually just sacrifice the knowledge. Yeah. Another, I probably could have gotten away without that speed pot, but... Hmm. So cute. Long Strider, health buffs, and madness gloves, though. Uh, madness gloves are pretty fucked up in terms of... Uh, they, they have a lot of downsides. Or most summons you can make them valuable for a couple but like sure if you throw a haste spore grenade at them you've already long strided them they'll have enough movement and actions to get in there and actually do things but uh it's it's a lot for a little Another thing you can do in combat here, which is good on warlocks, is if you're uh, if you're fighting the goblins right here, you can just send an Eldritch Blast beam at one of the rats if you have bloodlust on, and it'll trigger the bloodlust because you got to kill. It has one HP, it just has to hit. The rats did nothing. They ratted in my house. How much nerf that takes? My patience waits. Not one false move. position. You think that she's Fury and she's Death?
you that surprise that's that's cool by cool I mean it's uh annoying as fuck Excellent has a ton of movement. Clearly expected to be shot by the Raptors from a Gatanki. You never know what happens. This one's not in combat. We're gonna have Shovel surprise it. Victory awaits. You know that one's that one's better. This one. the surprise status on everyone, including Dora Ragslin. You joined late, no? That's awkward. these surfaces.
another speed pot. I need shovel to have enough movement to get over here. For the scare. So, I don't have my lightning charges. I could do an actual dash raw. Do that. So that'll at least trigger fleet fingers for movement. Probably a spot I could position to nail both of them with one Eldritch Blast Beam. Keep my bonus action available to drink the Featherfall Potion if I should need it. On the Try move. standing here. Could greed, but we're gonna drink the Featherfall potion in here just in case. Double will go in and make two attacks. Chip with backlash. Magic. Well, that's the goblin camp. Uh, I guess there's the, the door guards still. But that went pretty well. Unheard, unseen. It was good the whole room didn't aggro because that let me just get the surprise round anyway with shovel. didn't do much. I could have gotten more value out of Scorching Ray there. Oh well. The things I have to keep an eye on now, I need to gather up the barrels for the Elminster kill. Um... I need to get in a spec to do the Raphael knockout. Because that, in combination, is 2400 XP. A very relevant amount. I will take my pick. I guess there's the guys over by the Magluviat Priest. Uh, free that guy, and then kill him. Grab its fuse health now. Right? Displace off of Repelling Blast would be pretty cool. That, that can wait until after we have Crush access. Let's use health now, so the next tadpole will be. Shield of Thralls. 
Like to see bar bending just in time to see goblins die. How you doing, King of Adventure? Bar bending was uh was pretty pretty cursed. Appropriate for the run. Warlock's been so much fun so far. They're definitely gonna fix abduction strats, cause like... I'm starting to use it in combat, <laughs> instead of just out of combat. Because it's it's funny, I can just reposition enemies into my AoEs for free. I mean, it's not free, I guess I have to use my movement speed and I have to have enough strength to lift them. So if you think about it, that means it's balanced and shouldn't change, right? someone to succeed this perception check. Close alliance. It seems in fact none of us can. That thing is shielding us somehow. I don't want to know what happens if we lose it. I only know what I know. I was ordered to retrieve it and that's what I intend to do. Do with the uh, player lays all that doesn't. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Good. I am ready. Option. Start. Come on. Communication is key. Your base lays out. That's great relationship advice. Well, my day just improved. Did you want something? If you should find. Guidance, uh, yeah, I should. And it's it. a powerful weapon to boot. A thing. Ble Keep your distance, darling. Assume nothing. Imagine succeeding perception checks. Need something. Oh, it's efficient path. The gift knight is as merc that. What am I needed? A trap. Watch Good job, it. Will.
here now. Thanks for bread. You're welcome. path is interrupted. Ma'am? Interesting how the spiders in the camp aren't the same as spiders in the raid. You assume you the same ones. Yeah, the ones in the raid are way more dangerous. Like, where, where, where did those come from? Tell me about those. Still got a spell slot, Lazo. We use those. That's the awkward thing I'm finding with Warlock. When you finish a combat with one spell slot left, and you're like, okay, can I do this next one with one spell slot? <laughs> Rather than having your two. Just me? It's it's in my head every combat. Feel that.
Like, so what, three? Yeah. After Agathus and Short Rest, yeah, pretty much. You attempted to range attack me through two darkness clouds and a closed door? How'd you manage that? That's impressive. Third slot. It's very late, yeah. And 11, 12, somewhere in there. Oh, I just got another turn. Okay. Here. Love Fleet Fingers. How did I live without these? It's nearly 2.30. Have a good stream. Thanks, Buster. You have a good one. Wow, I've been live for nine hours. I realize how late it is. We're finally at the time of the year where it's uh, kind of you know, right outside. This time of day. Got good momentum, though. We're gaming. The walk's so fun. XP for many of those, but this place is clear. I guess optimally speaking, I would leave that group there for fueling Executioner later on. I know for next time. Still have a whole short rest. We can do a lot with that. I'll have to come back for barrels. It's fine. in the booze whenever or in a star in inspiration. I should find myself needing a point. It's a hey gun. Oh, we, we, we got a clip for you. We, we got a clip for you. I don't know if you were here, but... Warlock Warden Lockin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 pretty good. It's a lot of fun. Securing. Poison the booze, you get the XP from them dying from it. Uh you get less XP from them dying from that than you do from killing them yourself. But you can still get the inspiration by poisoning it after everyone's already dead.
I light your dice for the day, please? Absolutely insane luck. Like, uh... I did not expect that. <laughs> but I'll take it. I'll, 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 I'll take it. The start of the stream had a lot of ones rolled for no reason, so we, we just used up the bad luck and, and got to the good luck. and have us and both my complete runs. Ooh. Complete fingers? Mmm. Love these gloves so much. Quick heals. Complete fingers jump. I can't shut up about it. It's simply too good. Hockey user, I hate fleet fingers with all my heart. But it's a free jump! No movement costs. Such good clothes, such bad implementation. Yeah, yeah, I guess I'm I'm a pushover when it comes to if it's good I'll do it anyway. Um, I could save the goblins here because I've already gotten their XP. 
Do you think I just throw a, a leveled spell out real quick? Not really. I mean, I guess I could... Actually, I have the perfect thing. I have the perfect thing. You guys are gonna love this one. So like, all my homies hate Kaga, right? Why do I have extra attack? I guess I made an attack. Oh yeah, yeah, it's because uh, the extra attack from the throw that I did. Yeah. the idea of the electrified water, but... Well, see, that's just rude. to do the funny, and you wouldn't let me have the funny. Will disapprove. He will get over it. some very haha -ha funny damage for Mother's Revenge. Okay, what's next on the agenda? I could go do the Raphael knockout now. I just need to respec to something that gets silence. I want to get that necklace by killing Kago. I should give it to you. You can sort of fight Shadow Druids. Uh, it's only by killing her. There's technically a second copy of it on the desk in front of the kobolds in the Act 3 finale, but. Yeah, you, you have to die. Hmm. I could, uh, I could get violence by taking Book of Ancient Secrets at level 7 or higher. It's not on the table right now. 
Yeah, three of Bard Cleric or Desert Druid. Not Carl, she's impossible too, I guess. Does it drop if she's knocked out, or does she have to die? Please, please say that I have to kill her, because I want to. Equipped items can't be looted unless they're dead. You're correct. Cool. Cool. It's it's not me being trigger happy. It's me being optimal. Okay, I see the annoyance with the uh, fleet fingers. Solution. nine and a half hours hey like uh warlock's fun we're doing super spicy stuff the dice have also been spicy everything's spicy Which bolt did 62 damage? Now every every two levels, it'll get an extra D12, which means with crit and vuln, yeah, the damage potential of this gets pretty crazy. The low roll too. Yeah, 31 on 60, 12 is, is low. Yeah, you're right. Better once I have more charisma, too. I must, but you. Ah, oh, you're fine, Will. He's mad at me. Dost thou Much murder. You as thou. shotting my skill distribution because uh take a different level a different class for my my base here a 
doesn't really matter what I do here. We'll mope it about. Just, I've killed a few tieflings. And a few druids. Not even all of them, just like a few of them. Being unreasonable. Cases around people, a devil tells him to kill an axe on moral blah blah Proceeding. shit. The thing with Will is a lot of his morality early in the game is fake it till you make it. Like he is doing what he thinks a hero would do. And he even calls himself out on this. He says he's a pantomime. He's just kind of doing shit later in the game he starts to kind of develop his own ideas of, of right and wrong and how to deal with people but yeah before then annoying stuff play to frontiers eh? you always just fool yourself <laughs> We saved Barkus, Floric, Deeklings, yeah. Guess what time it is. You are unable to speak. Unable to speak. You are unable to speak. A lot slower than barbarian. Unable to speak. You are 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 unable to speak. Unable to speak. You are 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 unable to speak. So much faster, my fairy. You are unable to speak. You are unable to speak. You are unable to speak. I have some crits. You are unable to speak. You are unable to speak. You are unable to speak. Hey. You are unable to speak. As the first time didn't work, can't wait to get distracted right when you show the part I messed up. Unable to speak. So it depends on what you did to set it up and what you you're doing now. To speak. You are unable the setup to speak. is you interrupt his conversation. You are unable to speak. And the payoff is you non lethal him. You are unable to speak. You stepping at. You are unable to speak. 
Are you preparing for the paladin run where I probably can't do this? You are unable to speak. You are unable to speak. You are unable nice thing with Will is that you're a warlock. He, you know he is one two at the beginning. And seeing Stone Eye, he's like, nah, that wouldn't put that much effort. I mean, it's just standard rock. I'm gonna try to lethal him, he just disappears. You no, you just speak. can't actually knock him out. You are unable to speak. Although, maybe you did something you that's able, able to get speak. by that, and then he disappeared. You are unable to speak. Like, he'll be alive on zero if you don't non lethal. And then I suppose things could get weird after that. Speak. But Raphael cannot die. You are unable to speak. Still act three. The game does not allow it. You are unable to speak. Yeah. You are unable to speak. You are unable to speak. You are unable to speak. There's a few constants in the game. Raphael can't die until Act 3. Um, you, you cannot avoid speak. getting the artifacts. No matter what you do, it will show up. You are unable to speak. Uh, there's another one that I'm forgetting right now. To speak. You are unable to speak. You are unable yeah, to don't speak. remember the other one. You are unable to speak. You are unable to speak. You are unable to speak. I'm gonna do it in the paladin run. Run as much as he not how to proceed. Because uh, if my oath breaks before that point, I'll have the oathbreaker knight in camp. And the oathbreaker knight will do crime responses when I do things. Now he might be okay for this because Scratch isn't doing crime responses right now, and Scratch can. You are unable to speak. Um. But I am operating under the assumption that I just can't. I don't know if I use it or not. I'm keeping it in my inventory for right now. Dost thou require as the Expect some strengths, make it easier to hit him. Yeah, yeah, I did a uh strength elixir. I won't need alert much longer. There's... It's pretty likely that I... Swap alert for... Something charisma increasing. Not ability score increase, that feat is shit. Um, probably actor. For those expertise in talky-talky things. Yeah, probably actor. command anymore. It was pretty much just for that one meme. But 21 charisma. But 21 charisma. That's the that's the exception. Guess I doesn't show you know how many hits I get because that skill almost five percent more. Yeah, like for the 21 charisma thing, I would have to um I would have to take either ASI or two other 
charisma increasing feats. So probably ASI. We'll see if I end up doing that. Because at the end of the day, the difference between 26 charisma and 24 charisma is 1 to hit and um, 2 damage. So, like, eh. I could have something else. You hit 26, 21, and then sharp buffs. Unless sharp buffs have a cap that I don't know about. That's how you get 26. the point of 21 it's to get to 26 I really don't like taking hellish rebuke here I think once we get Fourth level spells, yeah, I don't take Hellish Rebuke anymore. I'll cycle that out for something else. Plus three, three from the mirror and two extra from equipment. No, it's um 21 by going ASI's up to 20 and then taking Ethel's hair while already having 20, bringing it to 21. And then you take the once, one time... Uh, plus five charisma in act two so the idea is to have 26 charisma for the um the act two finale because then you go agonizing blast potent robe if you're level 10 at that point then you've got three beam eldritch blast you just eldritch blast all the things For fireball to hellish rebuke. For now, yes. I thought it was a final level 12 charisma. No, no. For a final level 12, um, ideally, yeah, plus three from mirror. Um, but I'd most likely just use that to go to 20. I'd most likely just use that to go to 20. The base. 16, or base 17, and then 3 for mirror. Yeah, mirror caps, um, ear caps. I don't know if Raven Guard's Longsword has a cap, but I know Birthright does.
That's 22, Sword of 724. Thank you. I Thank you. am Raphael. Come. There. Middle of somewhere. It might just. <laughs> am I a friend? I could fix it all. Like that. Hope. <laughs> Come. Yeah, just introducing yourself and immediately telling someone to come. Power move. I'm encumbered. Way too encumbered. strength problems. A lot I want to carry, not much I can carry. I'd be 24 with Ring of Faith. Or not Ring, uh, Shield of Faith. Ring of Protection. Uh, right now, anyway. Maybe later. Too much cheese right now. Nice scratch. You finally want to give me the ball? Dog pants through a ball held firmly in his mouth. He relinquishes the ball. It is well. There's the rest of my spells. I felt like I was missing something. Definitely need more of those. So we've got the 375 from the Altus and Gith in front of the crush. Thousand from Elminster. Is that enough to level? Almost. Exploration XP, Gramishka, Kobolds. We got lots of options here. Objective noted. I have Shadow of Menzo Barons, and I can use that to sneak past the Death Shepherds. This'll do. Tears scratched in the ground, as I thought. 
The crash is nested in the temple below. Um, that's appropriate. That's exactly where you find Lazel if you somehow didn't, like, recruit her or anything and she didn't get herself killed in the first map. I guess the more interesting thing, um, then, uh, back, back to the 26 Charisma setup, then that would be, um, using one of the cold or lightning cantrips. So, Ray of Frost or um, Shock and Grasp. Because you can... You can run the necklace to, to get the equivalent of um, Agonizing Blast on that. It's only one beam, unless you have Sorcerer or Metamagic to send another beam at a, a second target, but you'd have the option of applying a Vulm. And in the case of Shock and Grasp, you could, um, Tempest Cleric force a max roll as well. Repositioning. Basically, what I'm getting at is I think you can potentially close to one shot Merkle with Shock and Grasp. Just funny to me. Welcome back. I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. Still haven't gotten Volo's Eye. I'm actually going to be buying C Invis Scrolls. Crazy as that seems. Oh, Raphael's diary. Toxic and funny. One skin goes to the back. I use them. Cloud Giant Fingers yet. I do sell a lot of stuff to, um, Very all from my camp storage. I can wait. We'll have to belly this life. Are the essentials? Do I have vigilance? I have two. There's the free one in the mountain pass. I throw this on. Okay, plus 14 with Vigilance, so that's the Elminster Initiative. It can also be Karna's Initiative, if you're nasty. The last time for chatter. Rip, no point in lingering now I've got the noble stock. That's for jump potions. Actually, a lot I need. That can wait. Do need those. That. Alchemist fires can wait. You get some from the kobolds. Having a good day. Wow, I've been live for ten hours. 
Just very, uh, locked in, as the kids say. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Eat. It come. An efficient path. Major armor of this. I'd rather have the piercing DR, I think. Let's kill the Gromishka, and then that'll probably be it. Probably. An efficient path. Advance actually goes crazy. Ooh. Good. Do I risk Grimishka before I just do the thing with the kobolds? Or not the kobolds, the cultists, rather. I don't think I do. But I don't know what triggers cause them to start fighting. process up. This is XP that otherwise does not exist.
there's a cutscene trigger here that flares trigger even if invisible. Shovel does not. A scratch should work for this too. And a couple of these enemies run away and disappear from the game and they cannot be engaged in combat, they just run and despawn outside the turn order. So we're, we're blowing them up before they can do that. Delivery. <laughs> Got it. Onward. Thank you, shovel. Within the artifact, a feeling stirs. Uncertainty. Expensive, costs a lot of bombs, but we do get loot to sell from these guys. curiosity is getting the better of you. Do not let it. Stay away from the Githyanki. They're hunting you. They want the artifact. They'll stop at nothing to take it from you. for reading that the blood of Lathander spilled in holy battle with Samaster immortalized here for all to worship the blood of Lathander was on full display all but begging to be thieved we can go get the Dawnmaster's crest as well uh, I'll definitely need a bunch more bombs for actual use for the squad in um, Therizin's office or insurance. I like having Blood of Lathander before entering the Shadow Curse lands for the first time. And uh, I gotta do a bunch of specific stuff to be able to do that without using up Morning Lord's Radiance before I want to. Did you eat? Uh... Hi. How are you? Hope you're having a good day. Bye. That's three meal times. A steady hand. It's fine. Show no mercy. Quickly then. Six and then we'll, we'll call it. I'll get food right away. Hmm. 
curious. What do I do with the time with you? Why? Have you any Halt! We were not expecting visitors, kin. What brings you here? You a geek thrall is something to eradicate, not reason with. Hmm. Wait for that. Figure out which dialogue to uh, do for that. To do it correctly. But I did not do it correctly. I had to do a check. I know on the side door they don't question you if you're a gith, even if you're just a shapeshifted gith. I guess I'm playing as a high charisma character. You think he has better response to the awkward? Uh, hi, how are you? You'd think, but here we are. Level six. Oh yeah, Dark One's own luck. That's cool. Yeah, once per short rest, you get a D10 on ability checks. That's pretty cool. I could use that on, say, the Thorms. One of the Zathus scrolls. Lots of things. That's pretty neat. I can take Counterspell. I want to take them. I knew new. By 24, and now we're ending just a moment here, actually. I'll take it. Nice to have in the back pocket. Beautiful. Level 6. 8k left to level. Level 7 is actually one of the faster levels, huh? Kind of fun. Okay, yeah, we've made incredible progress. Very happy with that. Uh, yeah, Warlock's a ton of fun. That's it. Thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out. Uh, I've been live for 10 hours. A bit longer than I normally stream. Uh, tomorrow is what day of the week? Saturday. I run CCV stream. Well, it's been very kind to me. Tomorrow Saturday, I'll be live. Business as usual. Um, anyone doing Baldur's Gate? Ah, say hook is on. Trade is on as well. Uh, let's raid Sayoka. I'm ready to. Uh, he's gearing up for level one Merkel right now. Like t today's the. A level one Merkel attempt live run. Uh, no, no deaths currently. It's like still honor mode, not dishonor. So if you guys want to see that, see some low level strats. Go over there. If you got my emotes, level one Merkel. Yeah, yeah. Been level one the whole time. That was one of my favorite streams to hang out in. Lots of science chill people you'll enjoy it uh, have a wonderful rest of your day i'll see you guys tomorrow bye-bye uh,